Gampy Vamps. Ah, where's where's Master Drama when you need him? Okay, so uh, we start on the uh, on the epic cave of the bear. Uh, you guys have returned through the storm. That's not right. Um, through the storm after a long battle, and uh, you guys eventually return. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So, this mic is on. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. Um, we get to... Uh, let's go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think suppose we'll take a good look. Uh, Ruben, um, you have some uh, light on you. Yeah, of course. Uh, can I? Uh, I'm gonna cast. Uh. Hold on, just a second. Uh, I want to cast the sacred. Oh well. Uh, sacred light. flame would. Yes. Uh, you can cast light. Sacred flame wouldn't illuminate enough, no. but you would be like getting a blink in there. Yep. Well, yeah, I want to cast light, and uh, I think. Oh, actually, uh, I'll co I'll come over. To, I'll go over to the tree, break off the branch, cast light, and uh, you get Nori and anyone's just... long sword, but. Choose a branch. Well, no, he's gonna no, throw the branch. Throw, sure, yeah, yeah, throw throw it into cool. the cave here. Now uh, you throw it in the cave, and yeah, and you you see the fallen. Uh, looks like this. Like that. There's there's nothing else. Uh, you don't see anything though. Okay. okay. Say, Let's go. Looks in pretty clear. Okay. I already walked in the first time, so someone else got to Okay. Uh, yeah, so this time we're Ruben and Vic Camros. You both, uh, s smell something kind of from the cave. What uh, do I smell? Smells like, uh, smells like cooking meat and boiling fat. Um, I, I quite, like, sort of, like, whisper just a little bit loud, like, shh, hold on. I smell something like someone's cooking in there. What's going on? Like someone's cooking? Yeah. Huh. Let's be careful um, then. There's probably uh, the people I, I, that were supposed to meet up with us. There's nothing to worry about. Impossible. They are probably uh, cooking our um, stash. Meat. Yeah. Yeah. Our meat. Uh. Well, let's let's proceed cautiously anyway. Yeah. Okay. There's there's no way we can be stealthy with all of us. All this ridiculous armor. Well, yeah. We can try, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me some Boop stealth. stealth. You have to succeed on at least three. Um, is it a, it's a dex, isn't it? Is it dex? Yep, dex. Yeah. Uh, armor gives you different damage. Is it a minus one? Or just... No, it's just the rules. Oh, yeah, just one. Yeah, you guys are already failed. Yeah, oh, already oh, failed. Look at Vic. <laughs> oh, Vic got, right. Vic got crit. <laughs> yeah, you, Vic critted, but unfortunately, Ruby got a 3, and Greg got uh, a 9, and all. Balls. It's a shame. Right, let's, so you guys are making lots of noise, clunking around. Yeah. Uh, but you see, you see uh, fire light coming from this direction. Okay. Um, uh, pick up the uh, light, or just cool. use it on something. Uh, Ragnar, can you light up something else at, at the branch? Uh, no, I can't, but I can see in dark light, so... Um, uh, where do you want the light? Where do you want the light, Morian? Uh, oh, uh, on you or something else other than the branch. Uh, yeah. you guys, you guys look in and, uh, oh! you see a... You see a uh, Udafar with his bow drawn, and uh, he actually takes a fire at Ragnar as he. Uh, <laughs> uh, give me a roll there, uh, Sha. Um. Nineteen. Uh, unfortunately. Holy crap. Yeah, I did have yeah, my that, shield that was, that was last it. Time. You had your shield out. Yeah, I did have my shield up last time, so. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, so you get sh so you get shot in the shield. And you kind of look over and say, Yo, Ragnar's us. Or, Unifier's us. 
Uh, so I said, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you guys. So I say, put in my bow back. What? Well, I so obviously we can't see him. So I uh, I turn over to Vic and Dedrick. I is that a, is that Udafar? I say yes. I say yes. Uh, yes, yes well, I quickly rush over. Let's go. So let's go. Oh my god, dude, what's up? What the <laughs> hell happened to you? So I'm just sitting there by the fire, holding my ribs, and I say, "Oh." I, I think something's broke. I'm not feeling all too well. I took a nasty fall trying to escape from somewhere, but I say almost like exhausted. I say, I'll tell you guys in the morning. I just want to sleep. All right. Uh, well, we just went through something pretty bad, too. I mean, like, no offense to, you know, what you've gone through, but we got some news to tell you. I say, can it wait till the morning? Uh, well, yeah, situation is kind of dire. We're like, right, we're debating on saving someone's life, and they will die by the morning. So we have to figure out what we're doing. Well, we can probably wait several hours. We only need about eight hours for a rest. So I think I we say, should be good. I, I only agree. need four. I say, tell me about this then. It's really that important. What time is it, by the way, John? It's about eight. Yeah, it's about eight. eight. Okay. So, so uh, night's falling already. And... All right. The daylight is from six to six, by the way. All right. Well, we came looking for you in a cave, but instead we found this uh, this clan of goblins, and uh, their master was was expecting us. Um. The entire time we were there, he was watching us all the way. He uh, asked us if we could do us, if we could do him a favor. We encountered these uh, vampire goblins, and we had no choice but to fight them. And the person Ruben was before, we found her, but she was dead. And instead, we found this other vampire who happened to be very cautious around us, but he trusts us with our lives. So, as we were escorting him back. Uh, the master to figure out our plans and he took this as a sign of betrayal so we were forced to give him up however we did save this uh goblin girl with us um you, you do see a small goblin girl i'm just gonna put her right here uh falling behind them uh, how can does... you say small how do you mean small what was that when you say small what do you mean i mean she is a small size because she's a goblin Oh, okay. No, I meant like young in age. So oh, like, no, no. Like small, like the girl. Okay. Um, you you haven't spent enough time around goblins to be able to discern age of them. They all just look like goblins to you, unless they're like baby sized. And I said, you sure you can trust this girl? Not to, uh, I just almost got take, uh, abducted by goblins. She was defending her children. Or maybe not her children, but she was defend defending, uh, baby goblins, essentially. And I say that's enough to earn your trust. Well, well, well it just shows that. that. It shows that she looks out for her own kind. I say this whispering so she doesn't hear me. By the way, since she's standing all the way back there. Yeah, you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but don't, yeah. Yep. You know, but it, it was, don't we as well? I guess. It, we're the only hope she had, really. If we left her there, she would have been killed instantly. By what? The vampires? All the other goblins. The goblin clan that uh, asked us to uh, kill them all. So this goblin clan, would by any chance they have slaves? Uh, yes. I'd say. Um, uh, the master, that's what he liked to be called. Basically, he showed me a vision of uh, a bunch of slaves, and he, oh, I don't know, like, he must have done it uh, either on purpose or just by coincidence, but he highlighted a uh, an elven girl with red hair. I don't know what that is to you, but it seemed quite important for him to kind of point it out. I don't know any elven girl. 
I don't know any other elves, but I definitely... These were the goblins that tried to duck me. I'm guessing they were going to make me into a slave, so... First chance I get, I'm definitely going to pay them back tenfold for that. Arrow in the eye again? Because that worked out so well last time. Hey, I never saw him again. True. Next time I do, they though... They get you kicked out, though. <laughs> I Wait. See, I'm definitely paying back the favor to these goblins. You sure she can be trusted? That this one can be trusted here? Um. Well, I tired her up. I say, uh, if you guys trust her, I'll take your word. I think she was, she's okay. What do you guys think? She's no harm to us. No bigger threat than the master is. Um, I I go over to her and say. In what language? Uh, in common. Um, I ask her, uh, what do you plan to do, uh, now that you're, you, you know, you've escaped? Um, her what eyes wide, escape? she looks at you, and she looks kind of back and forth throughout the group. Alright, so I see Vic all the way over there, and I say, don't you speak goblin? I say, uh, yeah, bring her over here. Not me. I'll hear her. Um, yeah, I just kind of, like, usher her towards me. I look she, at her, I she assumes you know. you're taking her behind a chemical shed. Shot. <laughs> I look at her and say, uh, so what do you plan to do? Goblin, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you plan to do now that you're, you know, you're free? Nah, it's just, yeah. I, I, I have no idea. So you don't have any greater purpose outside of that cave? Uh, yeah, she shakes her head and says no. I say, well, I mean... You're always welcome to stay with us, as long as you don't slip up. Uh, she says, I'll, I'll probably just sleep here for the night, and then, and then move on to my morning. Um, right. ask her, I, I go over to the cameras, ask her where her clan, where the rest of her clan. I look at him and I say, oh, they're probably all dead. Uh, I don't want her crying right now. I say, um... That's fine, you can sleep here and then leave the next day, we'll give you some some food. You could be on your way. She nods then she thanks you. Alright. So I say one last thing. I take off my armor and like show the bruises around my ribs. I say I took a nasty, nasty fall. Uh, We're gonna yeah. and a, a quick feel would definitely feel it. Uda fire has several broken ribs. Right. Fuck. Well, I'll be right back, guys. Sure. Uh, He's waiting for you, one of you guys to heal him. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't really have much on me as on the way of spells. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm quite fresh out. Mm -hmm. Um, if you want, I can, uh, I can at least, uh make you feel a little bit better and I I grab my jar of, <laughs> of uh clunky goblin placenta. Cool. Wait you what? Uh, he's gonna start rubbing placenta on you. I immediately back up from him and I say I'm I say fine. no 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 don't don't I worry say, don't I'm worry fine. My this, they suddenly this... feel a bit better. I think I'll survive the night. It, well this will this will It will help you. This so will yeah, help you. Uh, strangely enough, strangely enough, this will this will be. All right. So, so be. say if this doesn't do anything, and I wake up smelling foul, you will pay for this. <laughs> Trust okay, me. Well, if you smell foul, the, we are gonna notice. <laughs> okay. The 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 smell the smell is a, a little bit of a downside, but the upside is you won't be as you won't be as injured. Alright, so I let him rub this stuff on me. Cool. Vapor up. Um, you definitely feel feel better. Like, it's healing your wounds. Vapor up. Uh, does he get, like, any, uh, yeah. HP die? Yeah, he does. He gets, um, he gets an extra 5 HP back. Alright. Uh, part of the max or no? Uh, the maximum? No, maximum is still, uh, Oh. Reduced because it's it, uh, they can't this bomb can't bomb can't get underneath your skin. Um, so 
So how much HP would I be at? Because you didn't tell me how much I... Oh, I, I, I reduced it to about 9. Okay, so 9... That's with the heal? With the, uh, with the heal, you'd be at 14. Okay. So 14 out of 19 right now. Okay. Um, who's that? Ah, uh, the little girl probably get off Norian. Alright. Oh, I get um, my backpack sec. back with this stuff, I suppose, in the meantime. Cool. Uh, I, I think I should have um, two, uh, two spells left. Uh, yeah, sure, you have two spells left, but I don't think you have any level two spells. Oh, uh, John, before no, I, can't, I walk out... I the... can't do level two spells, yeah, Sure, uh, what's, what's up the account before you walk out? Yeah, before I walk out of the cave, I, yeah. I motion the goblin girl over here. Okay, sure, she she comes. And, uh, I say, can you hand this to the one lying by the, uh, the fire, please? The okay. elf-looking one. And I give her the bow that I found on the... Oh. The girl, yeah. Yeah, uh, she does so. Right. Uh, a goblin comes to the fire and presents him with a bow. And I walk up. So I look at her. I say, uh, thank you. I just say a bit of uh, surprise. Cool. And I think of her. Um, so, uh, has anybody eaten here? You guys want to grab a bite? There's still some meat left. Alright. How much Once we're gonna to go to bed, yeah, sure. Yeah. So um, I I walk towards the uh, I guess like the pantry, so to speak. <laughs> um, sure. And uh, when I get here, I don't notice where uh, I, I notice that uh that Vic is gone. Oh yeah, yeah, it's easy to see that Vic's gone. Cool. So um, I quickly just grab a bit of meat and then um. Drag it, drag it towards the group. Sure. Um, placing it down, I say, Fix disappeared. Uh, why don't I go have a look at where he's gone, gone off to? Oh, what type of bow was I handed just so I could drop uh, it? Oh, longbow. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, there's a good amount of blood on it. I do not mind. Um, I go I out. your bow back. <laughs> I go out to the entrance of the cave and I look around. So, so you go outside, outside. And you, you can see him hanging out by a tree. I say, hey man, what are you doing out here? It's nice and warm inside. I say, um, <clears throat> if we're being watched, it's probably through me. So it's better if I just stay out here. I say, right, um... Okay, well, don't be afraid to shout when you need anything. I'll, oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll grab you some food when it's done. Alright, that'd be fine. So, John, I realize the obvious win is chilling to the bone. So, I, I take out the bedroll and I kind of get inside of it to get warm. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, the bedroll's already pretty chilly, and the fact that yep. it has to go between your cloth to get to the outside, it would be crazy. Oh, but I'm happy. Yeah, just... it, it, I'm happy. It's easy to tell you that it's cold outside <laughs> just yeah. by playing the wind. I'm happy I got that music. But so I try to get as warm as possible with everything I got. Sure, sure. Uh, you, you'll be able to keep warm, but um, sleeping out there would be a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. Uh, how's the meat looking? Ah, uh, the meat. Oh, it looks great. Tender and juicy, and most likely uh, doesn't have worms in it now that it's been cooked. Uh, so. uh, Ruben, where's uh, where's Vic? Um, he said that um, oh, so uh, remember when uh, that um, the master, you know, basically like uh, had had his staff stare at at a uh, at Vic. Yeah, I think he must have put in. He must have cast like a surveillance spell on him, so that whatever he sees, uh, the master sees as well. So, so he's outside. Well, yeah, he's outside. So, so to prevent the master from knowing no. any of our plans. Uh, why does the master see through him? 
Um, I'm assuming. I mean, I don't have much proof of it, but I'm assuming that uh, when uh, when Fix stared into his staff, that he must have cast a spell on him. But he knew about us before that happened, though. Well, he could have easily gotten that information from messengers or scouts. Yeah. True. I mean, wait. What about the whole situation when he was um, searching through the cave, especially the ones we've been through? How did he know the wargs were dead if we were there the whole time? Hmm. Maybe he cast a surveillance spell on the wolf. You know what? I don't know. I can't. I can't strictly tell you uh, how he did it or. Um, or who he cast it on, but, uh, Vic, uh, prefers to, to sit outside, just, just for our safety. Uh, how far away are we from the goblin, uh, stuff? Uh, one hour away. Like, if, if he... And you, you think it's gonna work? Whatever him. spell or whatever is on him? Because yeah. I can't, because I can't do it. I'm not, I'm not versed in this game, con. Okay. So, yeah. One more that um, uh, in extreme conditions, how the weather's been acting, it might be difficult for me to read any thoughts he has on us when we're this far out, and especially when the weather's this bad. I mean, I don't think he doesn't have to, like, be outside outside. He can just be in the uh, entrance of the cave. And yeah. at least he'll, he'll have a little bit of cover from the uh, elements. Yeah. That'd be agreed. Um, um, upon eating, do I do, do we receive? Um, no, you 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 you'd have to eat in the morning. Uh, I'm gonna count that as eating in the morning, so um, all of you will be fine when you wake up. Oh, well, that is if we. Uh, um, sure. With the fire, would you want to cast before you sleep? Uh, uh, would cure wounds help with the? No. Uh, it would. You need uh, lesser restoration. To, to lesser restoration. Okay. Yeah. It's a little well, too I small. Mean, yeah, I've got that, but. Um. Yeah, you can also notice that Dedrick has a broken leg. By the way. That makes two of them. So, how did that happen, Dedrick? Well, that is, that's the question. Um, um, hold on a second. For some reason, I don't remember. <laughs> the shock must have impacted my memory. Uh, One second. Yeah. Um. I hear. <laughs> I hear. Uh, Let's not tell him. Let's tell himself. I hear Dedrick <laughs> okay. say something about him not being able to remember how he got his injury, <laughs> and I just kind of like uh, yell from from where from where I'm standing. He got he got wounded by that goblin vampire. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, I was fighting a giant orc bear. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's bare, it's a bit off my leg, and I reattached it. Yeah, my bad, my mother wanted me. Oh, uh, probably. You broke your leg through the impact? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he, he did enough damage to him to kill him in one hit. Um, so, yeah, uh, you guys feel like sleeping though? For how long? Assuming I believe so. I mean, eight hours, you know, assuming you guys want to do that. Well, if we're going to sleep eight hours, it's going to be 4 a.m. We'll be good before sunrise anyway. Yeah, we're I'm just going to trance until midnight then. Cool. Okay. Um, so you all go to sleep. Um, how about you there? The camera, what are you doing? Oh, well, Ruben just beckoned oh. me, so that's exactly yeah, what I'm going to do. I told him. I told him. Don't sleep out there, man. Better off okay. at least. You know, out in the end. So, um... Well, even if you can see, I think the problem is the... Uh, what's it called? Hearing something. Uh, even if he sees us here, he already knows we're here anyway. Oh, yeah, so. no, but since we're going, we're going to sleep, it's not like we're going to be talking. 
Yeah, that could be him. I look at Ruben, I say, uh, when you guys wake up, tell the goblin to come over here and tell me that the eggs and bacon are ready, bro. Right okay. Alright, so then, I guess I get to the front of the cave where I'm not getting hit by the wind directly. Yeah, this looks like a uterus. And, I knock out. Uh, you get, you get sleep right there? Well, a is that- fire would be a good idea, at least. God damn it. You can still sleep in the cave at the other side. That's I, I uh, would I be warm over here or would I have to start another fire? Uh, you should probably start a fire. Give me a survival check. Yeah. That is... Is that, well... Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. You're, you're the you do start fire, but it's very weak and small. Um, you're not used to making fires for this kind of um, climate, and so it's uh it's it's more. You make a cooking fire instead of a fire meant for warmth. Um, it's small, but your your pride really doesn't uh, allow you to ask for help from the others. <laughs> That's fine. Do I have like twigs and shit next to me to cast into it during the night? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. All right. Although uh, the the sticks you you got were more like skewers meant for cooking once again. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Take out some meat and cook. Cause I don't think I ate anything. I mean, you can burn that and use it as a heater. <laughs> yeah. I just okay. get some some pieces of meat, like let the fat drip on it. Maybe that'll get the fire a little bit more uh, violent as I cook it and eat it, and then go to bed. Okay. Sweet. Um. So everyone goes to sleep. Uh, eight hours, I assume. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys wake up with some music. It should be more like. Yes. This is music the best. Uh, Udo Fire. Um, after a while, uh, you hear noise coming from within the hall. Uh, near morning. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, um, wait, what time is it exactly? Um, it's probably about 3, 4 a.m. Okay. So it's in double trance. I yeah. drove you, both you, of you, you, You've been awake for a while, and you've been uh, pacing back and forth. Okay. So I'm gonna come here, uh, sh sh weapons drawn. Cool. You, you see clearly three goblins. Uh, they bear the marks of a swollen eye as they walk in. Do they see me? Um, or have you made contact at all? Eye contact? You're stealthy enough that I'm going to say they did not see you if you did not want to be seen. Okay. Uh, you see them walk in, they're kind of looking around. Alright, so I'm going to go over here just next to Ruben and give him a kick to wake him up. Sure. Uh, Ruben's, <laughs> yeah, you can all see me back at full health. So I turn him and keep uh, put a finger to my lip to tell him to shut um, up. John, can you edit my health? Uh, what's your health? Oh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll put your health back. Oh, wait, I got it, I got it. Um, I, I think... And I whisper him very quietly, wake the rest up quietly. Okay, so, I, uh... I slowly move to Dedrick. Put my hand on top of his mouth and just tap him lightly, or like, kind cool. of slap, slap him lightly. Cool. So I come back over mm. here. How can I tell Not these guys are by the eye, the swollen eye, by the way? Um, they they have these markings around their eyes. It looks like um, it looks like a clerk. It looks like the crying blood. Um, you're did the goblins that took me have the same marks on their eyes? Uh, the ones that were trying to take you did, yes. Okay, that's all I want to know. All right, continue. <laughs> um, I then proceed to wake Ragnar up and Norian, and I say, "I think I've got trouble." Cool. Cool. They're all waking up. Um, yeah, so I uh. The Cambrox is, is sleeping over here though. Is he? A, is he a goblin lady asleep? Uh, yeah, she's asleep. Decker. Um. Oh, I don't know whether I should wake her up. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I kind of shake her a little bit lightly, and I put my fingers in my mouth and go, Cool. And then I, I point towards the entrance door. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, so these guys, the one, the one in the middle begins to approach, kind of looking around. He starts by looking off this way. All right, so I just uh, keep my right, visual to Closer? move out of his vision. Cool. Uh, I see it, the, these two appear to be staying by the door, but this one's continuing on. Um, I, I, I say either Udo Fire, try shooting something at him. He doesn't know. So I keep my finger to my mouth now that he's not looking at me. Can I see what he's doing to Vic? Um, you can see him kind of look at Vic, and you see him, like, kind of sigh a little bit. Alright, so and I draw my bow. begins to approach him. Long bow. Uh, you say what? Okay, he, he's getting to right here. Um, you see, he's about to do something, you don't know what it is. Yep, so I am definitely gonna fire an arrow right at him. Cool, so uh, shoot the kill. Uh, let's go. You're using an arrow. There is no other thing that shoots this. Right there. No, I was seeing. I was just seeing. The yeah. Dip. Sweet. Roll me some damage. Plus six. That's really high. Yeah. It's four plus my proficiency. Yeah. Uh. Longbow. Okay. One d eight total. One d eight plus proficiency with the attack too, right? No. No. Just the mod. Just that. Yeah, just with the damage. Uh. It's just your mod. Yeah. Seven damage. Ah, uh, nice. And with your surprise, uh, it goes right through his throat. He falls onto the fire. And they uh, didn't see that, right? Um, they definitely heard a whoop. So does that smart. wake me up? Um, give me a wisdom saving throw. Yes, you wake up to the sound of a goblin choking on his own blood and with an arrow in his throat falling onto your fire. What the? <laughs> So I drag him off my fire because I worked hard to build this fire. Yeah. Cool. Um, you <laughs> notice he's getting cooked evenly as you take him off the fire. Second thought. <laughs> cool. Uh, what do you guys do now? Um, did they react to the sound or no? Ah, uh, yeah. You see them look at each other and then just go back to looking forward. So okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start walking out. What the fuck just happened? So I get about here, do I notice them? Not yet, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you notice them, you this one me? this one notices you. Uh, and the Camaros does notice with a fire, and that he is stealthing against these guys. So, alright, this is what goes down. I throw up a finger, shushing the Udo fire. He but... see you. Yeah, I know, I know. But okay. I do it like I'm shushing them. Cool. You know what I'm saying? And then I like put my hand up waving and shrugging my shoulders like, what's good? Cool. Uh, you, you see these guys bow. So I start up. Uh, fuck yeah, we just killed the dude. Uh, I start walking up to them. Cool. And, and in Goblin, I say, "How how may I help you?" Uh, After I bow back. Oh, shit. Um, they 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 kind of look at each other and say, "Um, we're not supposed to talk. The uh, the messenger is supposed to talk." <laughs> Dude, we just killed the messenger. Yeah, we, we, where's say, he going? Um, Kill the messenger. <laughs> yeah, there is a rule for that. Um, uh, messenger's dead. Um, they kind of look at each other and kind of sigh a bit. I they say he startled me when he woke me up. Uh, they say we we heard some noise from over there. Sounded like an arrow being fired. So we should probably check that out. They shrug and say, very well, if that's what you wish. So as we're walking over there, I'm like, so... Since the messenger's dead, I mean, there has to be a second-hand man. Uh, they say, well, well, we we know what our task was. Um, uh, they, 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 you see him kind of struggling to remember what was said. Um, and both of them only speak goblin. Um, they say that the other one spoke common, but um, which is why he was sent as the messenger. Mm -hmm. uh, they say that the master feels something, something. The master feels apologetic. Something, something. The deal went kind of wrong. Something, something. Here are three squires for you. Three squires. And they nod. I say that's very generous of the master. But I'd have to talk to my party first. Um, they they say very well. Um, uh, they, they the master told us to not return. Um, even if you rejected us. I say, all right. Uh, then, first order, wait right here. I have to go talk to the party. Wake him up real quick. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, cool. They, they, they bow and say, very well, and we'll do as you command. <coughs> okay, you, you look in, you find everyone already woken up with their armor on, ready to go. Both still in my hand. Both still in his hand with an arrow, just as if the arrow has already flew out, and he's just kind of stuck there. I say, well, you killed the messenger. <laughs> um, what do we got? <laughs> we got two squires. We had three. Two squires. Cool. Yeah, yeah by who? Uh, none but the master himself. He said he oh, felt cool. bad that the deal went wrong, this and that. I'm pretty sure it's bullshit. We should probably kill the both of them. Yeah, I'm I okay. draw another arrow and I say, <laughs> sure this time? That sounds big. I say, well... We should probably get any information, information we can first. Yeah, we get a little bit of information out of them, right? They only speak goblin, though. Um, one of them spoke oh. common, but <laughs> yeah, but somebody off them. As I look at Udofar, <laughs> I say just find out what they know, then we deal with them. I say, well, we've played the master enough. Maybe, maybe we should just play this game with them. Uh, I'm not good at games. <laughs> <laughs> Do we really want to disappoint him again? I said so. The person you're trying to save, the demon up on. What was that? The person that you're trying to save, the Lord. You're giving up completely on him. Of course not. These squires that are all control. I, I mean, this guy. He, he didn't look like he would be merciful. Like he'd give us help. So there's something definitely wrong. But I'm willing to go along with it. Maybe he's learning us in there. I'll say, I'll say, let's let's pretend to keep him. Um, see if we can get as much uh, information out of him, and then maybe visit the master and to, to say, and then I I use my air quotes. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Um, shit. I say, how about we? I mean, if we let if we let them go, we said we don't want them. They said they're not going back to the master. They're probably gonna go kill themselves, commit Sudoku or something. Sudoku is. I know. Sudoku. What? No, I shall kill myself through puzzles. Well, see what information they have out before we before they go kill themselves. So I say we should all uh, go confront them. Yeah, actually, yeah, big, go check out if you uh, confront anything else from them. I said you guys can do that. I'm gonna go see if my arrow uh, survived. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna say we should check the other body. Uh, these guys kind of look at you as you pass by. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, they are gone. I asked these guys. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna um, go with the master or go with the uh, vampire? Um, my vote. My vote on vampire. I say, I say we hold our, we hold our, uh, our choice until we, uh, we get to the master. That's true. Okay. All right. If we spin V for Vendetta, we know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's your keyword V for Vendetta. <laughs> I hate it. I go, for, I go for Bert. When I say Bert, that means danger. So he's like, oh yeah, I'll ask Bert, and then everyone descends. Yeah, mine's Pumpkin Patch, but... <laughs> pumpkin How can you work that in? <laughs> okay, sure. Um, when when I, I want to kill someone off, just say pizza. Just be like, oh, do you want pizza? <laughs> do you want <laughs> cheese on that pizza? <laughs> and pepperoni. Okay, kill everybody. <laughs> kill everybody. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, we can figure that out later. Uh, yeah. Did my arrow break on this? Uh, this um, no, he's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so I take it out of him. Yeah. You, 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 you dig it out of a skull. Um, you, you don't find anything on him. He appears to be uh, come bear. Uh, you, you do find a little bit of food on him, but it's goblin food and it's very small. I'm not mm -hmm. good. So I just uh, put it in my. Does he have any? What does he have? Any? Did he have any like parchment on him? Maybe like. Um no. No. And so we just literally word him out. All right. Um, so I look down at these two and I say, um, 
The party would gladly accept you with open arms. Um, they 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 say very good in uh in their goblin language, and they both so I look, give you a bow. So I look at uh, the one on the right first, and I say, "Your name is." Um, he says I was not given a name. I look over to his friend. It says same. I say, "Well, today you two get to pick your names." They say uh, they kind of look at each other and say, "Um, you not, we do not know what to pick." Mm. Well, Vincent's a pretty dominant name, but you know that's already taken. I see you, you could be. Aren't you the cameras? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Vincent's another character. Oh. Oh, uh, and I say, the one on the right, you could be Vincent, and I look to the other one on the left, and I say, you could be Roz. Vincent and Roz. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they struggle with their goblin tongues to be able to uh, <laughs> say the language. Uh, I say Ross or Roz. Roz. So, R-O-Z? Yeah. I say, Roz, what are you good at? Um, they say, well, I can I can clean and I can sneak, I suppose. <laughs> very small and dexterous. Um, they say, they say that they're not very good uh, fighters, though. Not very good fighters. No. They say they I can see. fight, but a fight will most likely end in their demise, so. They wouldn't su- they, if you want to keep them, they wouldn't suggest it. I say, so what'd you do back in the cave for the master? Uh, they say we were, um, we were just servants. Passed it along in scraps. And no. I say, how long, how long have you been with the master? Uh, all our lives. And how old are the two of you? Um, they, they, they kind of say probably about 14. Uh, which would be, which would be fairly old for a goblin. <laughs> So they know a lot about the master. Okay. Um, I say, well, when we find something for you guys to do, we'll let you know. We're probably going to have to get things tidy in here. They nod and say, we can do that. All right. Um, for now, you two can sit around here and relax. Uh, there's a fire up to the top right. If you want to cook some meat, we have plenty. Uh, they say we, we, we will be fine. All right. Um, uh, I asked. I asked for camera so he can find out about like maybe the layout of the base or maybe where it's like the master keeps his slaves hidden. Yeah, I look at him and I say, uh, these people have been with the master for 14 years. Uh, Vincent and Roz, by the way, and I point out and distinguish the two of them. And <clears throat> so they they definitely know stuff about the master, but I don't know if they'd be willing just to blurt it out. Well, they are for us now. Yeah, but I don't know. Still Master's probably. a crazy bitch. He, said he still could be watching. Yeah. He doesn't sound well, like the guy who forgive easily. So he's definitely watching. So I like wave. Yeah, you, you, what, what direction do you wave? Up. You wave. You look up or north. <laughs> uh, up. Cool. That's... You look up at the ceiling and you wave a little bit. <laughs> Everyone kind look of looks at you like you're crazy. I look up with him just to see what's going on. <laughs> well, at that point, I'm starting to think, "Hey, what's up there?" So I do the same. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not. Uh, the little girl kind of wakes up. Goes, "What are we looking at? Is it Mithril?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look up, see a fat ass chunk of Mithril. Uh, I say, "Well, oh, we gotta we're give. Shot. We gotta give him something to do." <laughs> uh, um, well, they well, get my have- Mithril. Yeah, you're saying it's in common, are you? Right? Yeah. Be cool. Okay. Yeah, I say it's in common. Oh, cool. well, they, can, they can't understand common, so. Oh, well, I do got some fleas I need picking. <laughs> I say, you try to do whatever. So they just don't fare well in fighting. Uh. Mm-hmm. I guess that means more Mithril for us. Um, so. Yeah, the girl kind of says they're, t- uh, they're coming tomorrow, so. Let's try, let's try to get us some mithril. Uh, so I come over to this goblin. And I say, look, uh, is she awake? Oh, yeah, she is. And so she's, I, she, she's kind of questioning what's going on. I look she at her and I say, uh, two goblin servants from the Swollen Eye are here. She seems scared. I say, don't worry, they're, they're here to do our bidding. She says, oh. And I say, um... You know, you have nowhere ready to go, 
and you know i'm willing to pay you per the day if you stick around kind of give these people order don't do work yourself and you know keep an eye on them for me she says i could probably do something like that i said all right we could set out a little payment method later say just don't let them do anything sly and i'll let them know that you're the one in charge she gives you a nod uh her name she she introduced herself as Laika. Laika? Laika. okay like the dog boom suck more here real quick and i say um there's a goblin female in there she will be giving you two orders accordingly and she won't be doing any work herself though okay they say very well we will restrain her from work <laughs> and i look up here and i tell these guys shit i got uh like over there to stay with us i don't know how i did it but yeah say wow the goblins are almost out uh outnumbering the party <laughs> I say, uh, don't worry, she's gonna keep an eye on him. She'll be our own little snitch. The goblins leading the goblins. <laughs> Would have guessed. Awesome. Blood. Right. So, yep, you have two squires. They're capable of carrying things and things of that nature. Like as good at cleaning and the like. Alright, cool. Um, okay, so I, I now have my spells back. Uh, yes, um, morning. So all your health is back and your things like that. Okay, can I? I I asked Tetricker and Udofar, so which one of you wants to heal? <laughs> wants to get healed the most? Uh, um... I say he'll hit Lake. He needs to actually walk around. I uh, can't I... just... He has enough spells to heal both of you. I, do, I say just heal that... him. I'll be alright. Okay. Say I'll just stay in the back. I, well, I actually do have enough. Like, I've got three. I can cast three level two spells, so. I say just um, focus on his lake right now. I said okay. I'll be fine. Alright, well, um. I cast uh, Lesser Restoration on Dedrick. Cool. Ah, uh, you hear kind of like a snap as his leg kind of flies back into its socket. Does it hurt? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, but all aesthetic pain. Ah. Aesthetic pain is still pain, by the way. But, yeah. I gave him a thumbs up, telling him that it worked. As he picks okay. fleas off his body. <laughs> right. Cool. Alright. Uh, um, I, I, I tell Udafire, as soon as, as soon as I'm able to uh, get my spells back. As soon as I'm able to, I'll, I'll, I'll fix you up. I say fine. I'm alright with that. Um, is would I be able to cast cure wounds on him at least, or would that just not be useful at all? His cure wounds just use just restores HP, and I think he should be fine. Should he? Oh, was that buddy? No, I was, I was I'm asking I'm talking to, talking to Shaw too. Oh, right. So about, about a song about his character. Um, continue, what was that? No, I was just wondering whether cure wounds would do any help. Or is that just uh, HP wise? Uh, it, it would just be HP, yeah. In order to right, fix okay. a broken limb, you need uh, do less restoration. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, and you have to do uh, full restoration in order to bring a, a severed limb off the cameras. Hmm? What? Oh, oh nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is that? What's that? Um, arrow. What? What's that other icon on the camera skin? Um, the cameras. Uh, he has worms, and he has. Oh, the cameras. Yeah, the cameras. Oh yeah, I smell like shit, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what that is. It's it's, it's a smell. He's most likely suffering from something because of that. Hmm. Friends? Uh, stealth check reduced <laughs> drastically. Ah, uh, yeah. Especially by animals. <laughs> okay, uh, let's head over to the uh, goblin place. Oh, uh, yeah. so what? I mean, would he want us to go back without the uh, orc? <sighs> well, well if we the main we reason we wanted back, to go we'll there. 
Yeah, the main reason we wanted to go there and help, well, let's just say help the master was to get Udafir if he, if he was a slave, but evidently he's not, so, um... We did I get mean, well, He's still a valuable asset. The old, yes. the master guy? Yeah. I say I have trouble signing with anyone who uh, just keeps slaves around like that. Well... controlling my words and picking them wisely I say uh, I think it'll just be temporary until you know we decide to move on I don't think I, I give him this very like wide half shit eating grin <laughs> I'm fine with that and I'm like, like sweet hmm? okay well uh let's uh let's get going then let's go find that orc Alright, well, I already um, have one in mind, unless you guys... The little girl kind of mentions that um, the cart will be coming in about 24 hours, so I should probably go get that mithril first. <sighs> you got a point. We're here for the say, mithril. She's right, that's that's our main objective. So I said you're going to let the vampire die then? <sighs> I mean, we can... Maybe he knows what the mithril is. Nera did ask. I said she knows where the mithril is, though. I we'll say if if we attack the the guy for the Lord Vampire, I mean you can't right or wrong with a wrong. I say we just let it blow in the wind and they attack the other. Yeah, I say they definitely tried to make me a slave. So. Yeah. It's true about most people. <laughs> I said, well, maybe you could settle your disputes with him another way. I say, oh, I can think of. I say, for now, we're just gonna play along and go along. Okay, okay. Well, let's go get that. Let's go find some more stories. Yep, and I like look at the little girl and say, "Vamos." Uh, look at she says, "Who's who's backpacking going on this time?" <laughs> so I say I would, but yeah, I'll do it. So I think Norian should do it. You're, you're injured. Oh uh, yeah, she yeah, she, you're, she, you're... she appreciates doing it on someone who doesn't have fleas. <laughs> yeah, I can take her, but someone needs to take my backpack again. Um, this guy, uh, Roz right here, uh, insists that he takes it. Uh, uh, we might run into some trouble in the cave, Roz. Didn't someone else have uh, he, he, he says, I, I know how to stick in the shadows. Uh, you see him kind of put the back, kind of strap the back back onto himself, and it's really heavy for him. <laughs> he, he, you just see him kind of start wandering about. I say, in common, I say, well, this is, this is when we see if they're trustworthy. If yeah, anything happens, I'm sure. mm. <laughs> I say if anything happens, an arrow will be going right through his leg. Uh, he begins running off into the distance. <laughs> no. I say, yeah. Okay. All should right, we so should we leave Vincent back or behind, or, or should we take him with us as an extra hand? I think we should probably take all of them and uh, yeah. use the extra hands for the uh, picks and yeah. get more mithril. We only have yeah. one day left, so the more we can get, the better. Exactly. It'll make us move quicker, and maybe while we're tired, they can mine for us, etc. Maybe set up a little camp in there. Okay. Well, Plus, we don't want to leave them here. Bear comes in here, or the caravan arrives a little early, and they see a glo goblin, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, should we extinguish the fires? Um. Even if we don't, they're gonna extinguish. Yeah, you know, I a little bit. Yeah, so, okay. it'll ward off the wildlife. Cool. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, you can assume that Roz, like, and Vincent are with you. Okay. Uh, but they're just off either in the shadows or just falling behind you diligently. So as we're walking, I uh, I tell Leica like keep an eye on these guys. She gives you a nod. All right. And cool. you are returning to. <laughs> 
Uh, no, water there. Um, can I ask Sophia where exactly are the carts gonna take the mithril? Um, she she kind of looks around and says, "My name's Sylvia, jackass." <laughs> what is that? That is weird. Right. <laughs> I think that's what you said. Yeah, that's yeah, that oh, what I, I heard Sophia. No, I said Sylvia. Oh, I heard Sophia. I heard Sophia. I heard Anthony Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, she, what was that you were asking her? Uh, where are the tar- uh, the that? Where are the carts taking the mithril? Uh, it's just they're taking it back up the mountain. Uh, the dwarves oh. like mithril, and they uh they will happily trade for gold, and gold can be traded for whoever. Got it. Although I'll, I'll probably exchange it for most of it for silver, but uh, gold for quick carry. All right. So I look at her. I say, where to? You look at who? The girl. Okay. Uh, yeah, so- she she looks around. She says, "Well, I don't really know. Um, I don't know how far they've mined in, um, uh, or how much they've stolen. Like, uh, for instance, she kind of points over to the cave you guys were in um, before." Uh, she points to this one and says, uh, and for instance, in that cave in particular, the uh, they actually mined through the mithril, um, so there was none in there. So, uh, uh, so we just we just need to find the right one. One There's question. Only one the cave we have that in this so, were you asking that, Sean? Oh, were these the caves that I was brought into? It was just one question. Um, yeah, you you were you were trying to grind to that one over there. To, I'm yeah. sorry, let me zoom out. Just, just show me one more time. This one. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we have two left to the right. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the other levels. If I remember yeah. correctly, um, my dream yeah. said then we after, had to go up. Af- after that shot, you were brought into this one here. Okay. Yeah. And then you were kind of left, uh, you came out somewhere onto this ledge. And then you were brought up here. Um. It was actually more like up here, and that's where um, that the other event happened, and then yeah, you escaped. And... So um, I say, Norian, your dream said you had to follow a river, right? I think so. Yeah. I said, well, there is another river, you know, a few levels up, and I point over yonder. It's the same way. It just has some uh, waterfalls on the mid, yeah. Yeah, I say I also came across one when I was in here earlier yesterday. And I say, so Sylvia, how does the one over there look? Uh, she says it's, it's promising. I say, all right, guys, so give it a shot. And she kind, okay. she kind, she kind of looks, opens her little map. She says, um, there's kind of a vein, uh, out of the way, and but there's some gold in there. I'm assuming they mined the gold from left in the field. Why would they do that? <laughs> uh, she, she kind of points this where the vein's kind of small. Oh. Uh, mm. I mean, it's a good place to start, though. She nods. All right. And I say uh, one thing, guys. Um, I think it's I can say we might not be the only ones in this cave. Um, Sylvia looks to you and says, "Duh." I mean. <laughs> Not just like that, but this cave. Even, I think even the goblins are kind of looking at each other. This, I said, to let me finish. <laughs> and we all nod. <laughs> this cave, <laughs> I think, is a big, uh, a big heart point of the yeah. the the ravens, the raven rogues we saw earlier. Uh, the ravens would have Wait, what? The goblins. You said, you said something area. about ravens. I said, let's just keep on going. Let's make this say, quick. Well, well, they try to mess with us. I mean, we're just. I said, you pitray. You see six. You see a group of adventurers just coming on to your territory. What do you think you'll do? Take them out. Exactly. Oh. Through mm-hmm. body bags. I'd tax them, but just yeah, keep but on your think... guard. All right. I say. I mean, if that's the pro- if that's the case, we can just find another cave. The vein is small either way. I said this whole place, though. Oh. They were occupying multiple uh, rooms. I say, and they might just be wandering around in here. Just, just be aware of it. One minute. Say, so let's just get to this vein. 
Yeah, right, let's do yeah. it. If there's any problems, though, let's try not to, uh, you know, fight. Run to a cave at a bear. I say, let's go. That's the blood. John, Stop. can we teleport? Can I cast teleportation on everyone? <laughs> I start sprinting. It's a gantry. Go ahead. Alright. Jesus. <laughs> it's a gantry to sprint? What? <laughs> Long strider on us. Right, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck it. Since Norian is like the closest here as I'm walking with him, I say, uh, Norian, what do you think the master thinks about all these places being occupied by the blinding ravens? Thank you very much. Well, I mean, according to the way he acts, I'd say he wants them out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You think the blinding raven has any orcs? Thank you, Raven. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make. <laughs> you want to get an orc there? Um, well, I'm sure he'd be happy if we, um,. It'd be two birds at once. Yeah, a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah. I say... Yeah, we could do that. These damn blinding, and I emphasize that word, ravens. <laughs> Blank uh, and rave. Yeah, so it was this one over here, right? Uh, No, we said we were going to go up here. Damn, Sylvia, we have to find... Sylvia kind of whispers to Nora, and I used to respect that guy, but not so much anymore. Who, me? <laughs> Uh, Sha. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> she, you didn't hear that, but that's what she said. I didn't hear that, yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. Hey, uh, you guys can see a cave in the distance. Um, it's a little, it's a little dark inside compared to outside. Okay, guys, uh, can it we prepare some about, light here? It would probably be about, it probably about 5am right now, so it's real early in the morning. Uh, days, it's kind of barely lit in the sky, it would be dim light right now. See, we used him like. I see. I can't be very. Oh wait, 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 wait. John, if I already take a dip in the shower, can I get rid of all the shit stink off of me? Uh, I'd say it's already gone. Oh, okay, cool. I say yeah. Then let's sneak in. Can you guys approach? Yep. Cool. Oh god. Well, that was weird. Oh shit! Uh, late in outer darkness. Yeah, uh, oh, I, I'm I'm doing this so you guys can um, enter the building. Uh, can you move uh, yeah. my character? Oh, sure, oh, I'll wait, move I got it. it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Shit. Uh, can you ping the? Uh, oh, never mind. I got us. All right, cool. You you uh, may want to reset the fog because we still see all the labyrinths from the left. Oh, you see what? Yeah, we still see a lot of white spots. Oh. All the white on the left from the previous. Uh, oh, stuff. that's cool. Uh, it actually does look pretty cool. Yeah, it does. Oh. Oh. We don't know what we'll fight. I think I lost this. It smells That's strange like and like shit. That's like for everybody because we're so honest. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we don't have any RP die. I do. I have I got that. I got a few. Yo, fuck <laughs> all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's going in first? <clears throat> uh, I guess if you give me some light, I can go ahead. I guess I can go first. I, uh, uh, I go. cast light on Ragnar. I cast. Oh well, Ragnar's got light, so fuck you, Norin. I cast light on my hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, light, light. humor. <laughs> you cast light on your hat, and you can see uh, ahead of you. There's clearly a large door. Uh, Luba yeah. Luby. Okay, there you go. Uh, and um, wood of fire. Uh, despite the Camrobes having his light on his hat, you can actually see flickerings of fire coming from underneath said door. And beneath and between the cracks. Uh, Norian, I think you gotta go wreck on this. The I gotta door. kick some doors, don't I? I say, no, 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 no. Last <laughs> time we knocked, we didn't get killed instantly. What if we try that again? I, I say, either like way, I'm gonna be prepared, so I draw my longbow. Put an arrow on and just have it ready. For when cool. And I say, uh, Ragnar, please open it like a normal <laughs> door. Fine. I use so the I handle. I my swords on my kick. What a cleric. Uh, you you twist the handle and it gets it gets about like a quarter inch and then just it stops. 
Uh, you kind of twist back and forth, and you can feel it's definitely locked. It's locked. That's why you knock. Bambi. Ah, uh, knock. Okay, um, so I, I actually <laughs> drop on the floor and see the, you know, from below the door if there's anyone there that I can see. You know, anything um, you cannot see further than about a, about a foot inside, so you can't see anything. Okay. Um, yeah, but you do see a couple, you do either see flickerings or shadows. It's hard to tell the difference. I knock on the door. Cool. Uh, you knock on the door. Uh, you, 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 you hear some movement in there, inside. Hello? I say, say you're the police. <laughs> so you're here to talk about Jesus. Uh, knock on the door five. Have you what? heard of our Lord and Savior? Fora. Yeah. Fora. Forja. The moment. Forja. Forja. I think it's in the morning. Yep. Uh, so what do you do, Ragnar? You just knocked on the door again. Yeah, I, I just knocked like, hello, anyone there? <laughs> so, is it a man turn? Ah, uh, sure. What do you want to do? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It was for the guys if they wanted to kick the door. Pulls out a 44, shoots out the lock. <laughs> I say, kick it down yeah. if no one's opening it. I say, that's dumb rude. I said, to not answer the door, it's even more rude. That is very true. I say, what if they're getting dressed? I say, they should have said something. Because of that statement, I think we should immediately leave. You're getting so stuck. I say, we wait two or three minutes. If nothing happens, then, uh, I mean, we have no right to kick down the door, to be honest. Hold outside. And we have no right not to kick down the door. Since when are you morally bound to do anything? Yeah. What that What happened to the carelessness we have? <sighs> Son of a bitch. So any response there, uh, Joel? Um, you do begin to hear noise on the other side, like movement. They but don't. nobody says anything back. Um, mm -hmm. no, not uh, after how many minutes do you wait? Oh, like two or three. Minutes. Three, three yeah. minutes? Uh, you eventually hear the sound of this door unlocking. But nice. after that, you don't hear anything. I turn the handle again. Cool. Uh, it's unlocked this time. I walk in. Cool. Uh, you open the door and you see, uh, in addition to a large spike chain flying oh. towards your face, uh, roll me a deck save. Oh, God. Uh, He's and good. that's what you get for letting him set it up. But I get to uh, I add my shield to this one, <laughs> shield mastery for deck saves. Uh, yes, you get to add one of your shields, not both though. Yeah, I only have one shield. Okay, so. then yeah, you get to add, you get to add your shield then. So glad that tank. Yes. Oh. Nice. Oh. Um. So yeah, you uh you manage to with your sheer dwarven force, you manage to launch that thing right back. And it hits and, the dude uh, in the face. <laughs> but you do notice the following. Oh. Ah, I called it. Wait, does this guy get clocked? This one right here? Uh, it doesn't get launched far enough back. Damn. There are are there any... At first sight, are there any orcs? Uh, you see none. Fuck. Damn it, Vic. Uh, morning. No response? Um, they, you hear this one say, get him. Uh, this one looks very familiar to, uh, Food of Fire. Mm. He's an exitry. <laughs> Fuck him. So, uh, Food of Fire, do you want to fire an arrow over top of me and kill him? I said I would love to. Dorian, jump on top. To launch the arrow? I'll go for it. Alright. Uh... Nice. One day. No, can I time. simultaneously launch an arrow with him? Um, well, I, I, I can just go ahead and say that you guys can, uh, do all this oh, shit. Oh. Alright, so then, uh... 12, 16... Oh, come on. Let's slash. Uh, nice one, though. Initiative is plus what again? Uh, yeah, dexterity. Oh, dex. Nice. Fra, eight. Um, do you guys want me to roll for each of them, or just roll one big one for all of them? Uh, I'd say separate. <laughs> yeah, separate. I'm gonna make it one per for enemy type. Okay, that's good enough. Um.
found Norian for the bad guys. See ya. Norian's just fighting by himself. <laughs> Only he has the initiative. Norian, we we believe in you. Go ahead. Uh, Good luck. Quick, <laughs> Ross, Vincent. I don't know. You know, if you guys use the uh, macro I sent you last time, you can get straight into that stuff, just like I did. I keep forgetting to make those. Can you send the macro? Uh, can you send the macro to um, the Skype chat? I'll, I'll copy it. Now. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't see my initiative though. Yeah, mine's either. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I didn't add you guys. Uh, you're gonna have some fun oh, okay. now. There you go. Yeah, just Norian against everyone, so don't worry. Now we got it. Thanks, yeah. Ian. Good luck, Norian. Cool. You've had the war. <coughs> oh, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, my guy looks extremely strong. Okay, uh, so we don't. Uh, see, so let's go for Uda Fire. Your turn. Wow, you want to launch an arrow and you go first. Alright. Kill these mofos. 24. Beautiful. Uh, so you definitely. Who are you aiming at? Uh, this. The one in the middle. Cool. Uh, yeah, you see him heavily armored. He kind of brings up his shield and you manage to just barely get into his armor before he manages it. Alright, so I roll for damage or no? Yep. Roll for damage. So that'd be 10. Cool. Uh, 10 damage. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's what happens with a longbow, baby. Cool. You hit him with a, a strong 10 damage right in his chest. Uh, Norian. Cool. Um, can I step, like, next to Ragnar? As in, do we have uh, two squares here? Have or just one? Okay, in that case, I'm gonna go in front. Cool. Uh, Little girl takes okay. a shot. Ah, oh, dang it. Hold on. Little girl takes a shot. Ooh, but it bounced off armor. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can I hit this guy from here or not? Um, no. no Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and be tagged. I'm gonna hit that guy. Cool. Below me. Uh... Uh, 15 attack. Unfortunately, they he blocks it with his axe. All right. Um, this guy right here, ooh, this is bad news for you guys. Uh, he begins tapping. He takes out a little piece of metal and he begins tapping it against. Uh, oh, I forgot he had that ability. Uh, he begins tapping it against um, another piece of metal, and uh, you, you see all these guys, their skin kind of turns. Looks like it stops being soft. <laughs> oh God. That's totally a turn to stone spell. <laughs> um, Dedrick, you're up. Sorry, oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna pick up my flute and start playing Call to Death. Sweet. So plus, the, yeah, plus four to damage. Oh, awesome. Merc. Uh, these two, oh, I just wanted them actually. Uh, this one has advantage on Norin, he's gonna take a slice. Advantage? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Didn't realize how strong this guy was. Uh, 21 Ooh. against Tracy? Uh, I'm gonna use uh, Fencing Master. It's 18, but this one has like plus 5, so that doesn't hit. Cool. Awesome. Uh, and Ruben. Okay, so I'm gonna stand here. Uh, and I'm gonna cast. Uh, well, I can't cast burning hand. I'm gonna cast a uh, flaming sphere. Cool. Like right here on him. Oh, nice. So they all have mm. to make a deck save. I always spell sphere with an A, I don't know why. Uh, so it'd be about. Oh, there? Oh, or on here. That sucks. Yeah. That's a sucky roll. Can <laughs> I, I want to use my um, RP die? Want, yeah. Just yeah, uh, I yeah these guys are going to try to dodge. 
most of them succeeded. So they most of them take one point of damage, and that's about it. Uh, shit, okay. give me an RP die though. Give me an RP die yeah, to add more damage on. Boom. Ooh. Four, nice. So four, five, six, seven. So these guys take three damage. That's alright, that's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah that's, soon. that's like 15 damage total. Uh, so Rowan Merc, uh, he looks through you guys and he sees a soft guy with a light on his hat. He mm. points to you with one finger and says, Get over here! Uh, give me give me a <laughs> wisdom <laughs> Give me a wisdom save and throw for Camros. Damn! <laughs> okay, uh, Vicamros is compelled to run towards him. Land right about there. Okay. Fuck. Wait, wouldn't we be blocking the ventures? Um, unfortunately, Vicamros is behind you, and he kind of pushes you aside as he goes through. <laughs> so, Vicamros just runs. Oh, yes, sir! And he lands there. Fuck this guy. Uh, <clears throat> mm. No. Um, a uh, Merc Hammer. Oh, he also is gonna move uh, to about there. Uh, okay. He'll probably do that beforehand. Alright. Yeah. Um, just to get out of the fire. Uh, the Merc Hammer, he's going to slice at the Camros. Fuck me. Uh, 20. Don't worry, he's gonna do that. Uh, oh, wow. I forgot how giant these guys' axes were. Uh, two points of damage. Oh, lucky. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty lucky. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Vicamros, you, uh, I remember you got, you also got my spoiler all saving throws, remember? Mm, right behind me. Burning hands in their faces, man. Mm. I could do that, but then I'd probably die. No, I just use burning hands and then disengage. Disengage would allow me to get out of here? Like, yeah, uh, you could, but you have to disengage and then move. Disengage allows you to use your movement without invoking attacks of opportunity. Mm. Oh, yes. fuck. I could just walk do out. you need to do it before attacking, or you can do you it could, either way? You would take a lot of uh, opportunities. Um, I'm gonna cast uh, invis that's... I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. Sweet. And he goes poof. Yeah. Alright, sick. Okay, Correct. and uh, yeah, you move to wherever you want, essentially, and you'll appear next turn. Yep. Uh, this guy right here, disappointed. Um, do they, they keep taking damage from Fireball, or they take damage on your turn? Um, it's when they start their turn, I think. Yeah, yeah, they they, they take damage upon their, their turn. How much damage? Uh, um, shoot, sorry, let me... Uh, when do uh, this is going to move up to Nori, and he's going to give him a slice. These guys get a plus Thank you, one. two. Okay. Uh, he attacks with his battle axe, but unfortunately it hits against your armor. Uh, Ragnar, you're up. Okay, let me give me. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, well, is there anything I can make? Fuck. Well, whatever, that's what the, uh, the spell says. <laughs> oh, right. Um. Yeah, that's, uh. Yeah. I just I, cast Bless on all of us, because that will be handy. Cool. Uh, everyone is now blessed, as well as uh, Dedrick's music. That means you get 1d4 on all attacks and damage and save Oh, throws. wait. Does that mean that I get uh, another 1d4 on my attack? I don't think it goes, yeah. to, I don't think it goes to ranged magic attacks. I think it goes no, to it does not go to attacks. Right. It goes oh, to okay. saving throws. No, we're, we're talking about the Dedrick's uh, oh, yeah. damage. I think, says, it only, I think it only applies to um, it says uh, physical attacks. Yeah, Wait, pretty uh, much. So right now we have. Sorry, go ahead. Well, th Wait, did he like summon the spear? Or... Yeah, I did. Then I wouldn't that count as a physicality? No, I think it's more like actual physical attack from. Yeah, yeah like like, like shooting a like shooting a bow or smashing with a hammer oh, or something okay. like that. Okay, wait, so right now we have 1d4 on damage and, and also 1d4 on, on saves? Yeah, and saves end on your attack. So roll 1d20 plus 1d4 plus modifier, plus proficiency. Okay. Uh, human Merc here, uh, how much damage do you take once again? Uh, it's a 1d6. Ooh. 
Ain't got your action this time to save you. Nope, I do not. Um, oh, fudge, doesn't save. Damn, Ragnar, cool. gotta get in there. Oh, well, could I just move up one more spot on my turn? Yeah, then? of course, definitely. Okay. Uh, six point damage to Norian. Alright. Norian with a zero. Oh, no, that's not right. Who the fire, your turn. Alright. So, um. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna use one of my spells now. Sounds good. Hell of Thorns on this guy and everybody around him in a five foot uh, radius. Cool. So, yep, including Norian. So, good luck, Norian. Okay, what right, happens? So this, uh, well, first I gotta launch the attack. Uh, it's a D, extra D4 on the attack roll or damage? Yeah, uh, on the attack. And, and on the damage, but you're using a magical attack, so. No, it also counts as a normal one. Oh, cool. It's just yeah, uh, still takes the normal damage. So, uh, you're doing a 20, that's gonna hit. D8 plus 1D4 plus 4. So that's damage on that guy right there. Cool. Um, it, what, what kind of attack is Hail Thorns? Uh, what does it do exactly? Uh, it does. So the first person gets attacked, then him and everybody in the five foot radius must save, make a. Well, uh, I'm question. I'm questioning what like what Hail Thorns is like. Is he sending bows oh, he at him or? Spells. Uh, it makes a uh, rain of long, sharp thorns sprout from my range of weapon or ammunition. Cool. cool, cool, cool. Um, so it kind of just just from out of the stone in the roof, these things kind of rain down. Um, you can see kind of uh, it kind of embeds a lot of them embed into his uh, his hard skin, but um, you do you do see a lot penetrate. You can see it kind of looks like his uh, his skin starts to crack. At a lot of places, like it's splitting apart. Yeah. So everybody, including him in that radius, has to make a save deck throw. save and throw. Yeah. Cool. Uh, one, two, one, two. And uh, you two, Norian. Oof. Yeah, so Norian Bad. and the second guy don't save, so they take a full D10. Everyone else takes a D5, so. D5? I, I'm sorry, not a D10, yeah. half the D10. So, so. Um, cool. Um, you could see every one of the enemies, it seems just to bounce off their hard skin. Mm. Don't worry, but, you uh, except so for you Norian, basically just hit me. <laughs> it's splinter yeah. Well, he did do massive against this guy. And you do see his body seems to be cracked horribly. So that's uh, uh, this damage. guy, uh, he would move to about here on the stairs. Uh, wait, 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 wait. It's uh, my turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Norian, then. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna hit the same guy, the one that's in front of me. Cool. And just in case, a, a reminder, the lance sword is magical. Cool. And, <laughs> and the attack <laughs> is grabbed. <laughs> yeah, you, you start swinging your blades around and nothing. Uh, you do still notice it's your your blade is glowing, or has the one glowing um, signal, signal. it. As well okay. Ah, uh, yeah, this guy's going to move back, and he has nothing really left to use. He's going to continue tapping on the thing. Tapping on the metal. Uh, the Mark Hammer, he is going to strike at Norian. Um, I think... Oh, no, never mind. Actually, yeah, I think you did miss him, Dedrick. Doesn't hit. Is Dedrick 19? No, Dedrick keeps playing his music. That's his... Ah, uh, okay. My bad. bad. Yeah. Uh-huh. <coughs> Speaking of music, do you want your music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better if it wasn't so lame. Um, yeah, so uh, 17. Unfortunately, it misses you. Yeah, unfortunately, it misses you. Uh, it's unfortunately, Rubenish. but okay. I guess it depends on the point of view. <laughs> Dorian, if you throw me one of the guys, I can throw him back into the, our teammates so they can kill him. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> I kill a kid. So, um, <laughs> I, uh, I take my action and I move the sphere, uh, over here. Nice. Um, so yeah, I just had to look at the, um, the PDF and it says, uh, if they start their turn within five feet, they, they either have to do a deck save or take 2d6 damage. Cool, cool. Um, so I'm just gonna do one for all the guys then. Uh, one, two, three. Ooh, that's all failures. Um, so Yay. roll, roll two d six. Uh, two d six. Uh, hold on. 
That's real business. Seven. Do I uh, do I get bonuses for bless? Bonuses for bless? Um, to your no, they they, they would get bonuses to bless. Um, okay. they don't. Uh, so you can see it kind of starts burning though. It kind of starts burning them, but you can see the hard skin seems unfazed. Um, and that's when kind of like a wind blow, cold wind blows in. It kind of cools off their skin, and the drastic temperature change causes them to take a little bit of damage. Yes. Um, you can see this guy right in the center here. Science. Yeah, he t <laughs> he takes a. He, you see him finally get subdued, and I uh, see his body just crumbles to dust. Uh, equipment and all. Um, yeah, and that was your turn, Ruben. Uh, yes, that was my turn. Cool. Uh, this guy's gonna do a deck saving throw. Oh shit! Oh Ace my set. god! As he is going to look at Norian, he's going to invoke attack of opportunity. To Norian, stepping here. Norian, fuck him up. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Oh, oh it did work. Um, ah. Man. One's a 15, and the other one's a 14, so none of them are critical, actually. But yeah, yeah, I know it's not critical, but it. it's still perfectly his AC. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. uh, second one is magical. Remind cool, uh, so 10 points of damage. Oh, okay, uh, you start slashing into his body. Um, the first one, uh, you kind of stab in, and clearly it's just hard metal you can't penetrate. The other one, you do, because it's magical, you see it actually... Um, as you slice at him, his skin starts to turn non-metallic, uh, and uh, it slices cool. through his stomach good. Awesome. Yeah. Um, he gets to here, and you see him, uh, he grabs onto you quickly, and uh, you can see kind of his hand turning dark. Uh, give me a constitution saving throw. Okay, let me check my con. Um, that's three mm. and two, five. Okay. Thirteen, cool. Uh, so you're able to withstand this attack, which is uh, about three points of damage, uh, of necrotic damage, as he kind of starts stealing your soul a little bit. Mm. Uh, he starts sucking out your life force. Okay, three uh, points Merc. of damage down. Yeah. Uh, the Merc to your side, he's going to strike at you with, with his hammer. Actually, no, he's going to do... Yeah, he's going to strike with his hammer. Uh, 19, that's gonna hit. That uh, would hit. I'll go with the offensive master then. Uh, you already used your reaction on this guy, remember? No, no I did not. I you did used, last You uh, used your turn. attack of opportunity on him. That's your reaction. Oh, crap. You're right, you're right. So he, yeah. Take that, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> 10 points of damage. Damn. As this guy slams his two-handed axe into you. Okay, okay, uh, wait. I, like, sidestep here and then go back. And, and uh, hit, right? <laughs> what? Okay, uh, you sidestep to here. You take what? Two d six damage from the fire <laughs> orb. Okay, uh, that was uh, ten, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, it was ten. So that puts you to seventeen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vic Camros. Fuck, this is retarded. Um, um, so you can appear wherever you want. Uh, you do see doors here. You can open them without really revealing yourself. Go after the weak guy. Go on. <laughs> There's a weak guy? I'm gonna appear guy right here. Oh, okay, fair for yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna hit... Well, I plan like more against the wall, but whatever. Just like 15, hit these three guys, or can I hit this guy too with burning hands? <laughs> Including yeah, Norius. Uh, it would definitely... Idea. Well, how it's gonna work is it's a cone, so we'll go like one, one, two, one, two, three, that kind of thing. So I hit all those mofos. Yeah, essentially. Uh, uh, ex except for here. this guy. But you would hit all these. If you aim here, you'll get these three. Yeah, not that's... More. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I don't hit Norian. Now, sure. Good thing. I'd have yeah. to wait a whole <laughs> turn to charge up the spell to make it a critical, right? A whole um, round. that would require them... Well, surprise. they don't see me right now, right? Yeah, they, yeah but uh, which call it? this guy would yell at you're there, so uh, it would instantly turn into a non-critical. When, oh, when, he, when he yells that you're behind him. Damn. I, I mean, if you try and kill that wizard guy... Oh, uh, Vic Hamros, roll me uh, a dexterity saving throw. Oh, oh you're uh, on fire. Crap, you're in there. Yeah, that's why he said he's a pretty bad okay, idea. Uh, 2d6 damage. 
Uh, roll it, uh, Ruben. Oh man, I hope you don't get... But I saved. Nine points of damage. I uh, know you didn't, ten is not saved. Oh, uh, you shit. take nine points of damage. You're not in range of the Sorry, music. Sorry buddy, I'll heal you. After. I told you you should've gone after the wizard guy, but no. So, uh, he's, he's now yeah. in range of the music now. Even with yeah, the so echoing. I do that, I just hit them all with burning hands. Let's go. Cool. Give me a deck saving throw, Norian. Wait, what me? Wait, wait, if I aim it here, it won't hit Norian. Oh, okay, well, if, if you want to hit... I think you, you, have, you can either hit these two guys and do it, or hit these three guys and Norian. I think that's the option here. Or you can move. But even then, it's difficult. Yeah. Go for the wizard so at least the, the uh, they will not have the uh, their their uh, thick skin. Yeah, fuck it. Cool. Uh oh. All right. Prize, motherfucker. Cool. You come up. He's like, whoa. And you do what? And I touch him in the face and cast burning hands. Nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. <laughs> um. He's home. going to duck with a twenty-two. No. Uh, Shut so up. So uh, as you kind of do that, as you get too close, you kind of, you kind of start trying to drag your hand down to reach him, and you actually do manage to hit him for roll damage. Oh shit! Ah, uh, for five points of damage. Oh wait, wait, it's a three d six. Oh, three d six. Okay, roll one more. One. Okay. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, so fifteen. Ah, uh, so yeah, you you do man, you see his uh his rock skin begin to crack. Uh, but he still appears fine, or alive anyway. Despite being horribly cracked all over the body, and you can see red blisters appearing. Is he still tapping those two pieces of metal? He sure is. Actually, he has to roll a constitution check to see if that. Um, oh. he sure is. Damn. Damn. I, I applaud him. Okay, Ragnar, you're up. Um, lay on hands on Norian. Cool, for how much? 20 health. 20 HP, Woo. cool. Plus 20. And. Yep, zero of that was wasted. A uh, human merc. Thank you. Uh, he, this merc's gonna try to slam against Norian. Uh, 14, but he's gonna miss. Yep. With a fire, you're up. Alright. So I'm gonna move right here. Would I be able to hit the, the mage guy? Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, there's a large guy in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> so, alright, so I'm gonna aim at him then. Hit him cool. in the eye. Uh, D twenty eight plus six plus one D four. And the song's still going on, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Holy <laughs> that That's a crit. Wow. Wow. Well, so that's stunt, nice. boy. Yeah, one twenty. Get some of that. Get some of that stunt. Point. Can't do nothing, but yeah. Right. Could knock him on his ass, though, right? With a five, would I be able to let's check? Yeah, yeah. You you okay. you, you stab in the face, shoot him in the face. It goes right to his eye. He gets launched backwards and dies. Essentially, yeah. Alright, uh, would I be able to use my vulture to uh, try to attempt to take the things out his hands? Um, it would be a full action to do that, not mine. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Norian! Okay. Um, can I move here with this. Uh, here, with uh, disengage or whatever, not to invoke any opportunity attacks or not? Um, if you, you want to disengage, so you can get over there? Uh, I can attack later. Uh, you can attack next turn. Uh, okay, in that case I won't. Uh, I'm gonna attack this guy. Cool. Um, an 18, or oh, whoops. Um, uh, it's 18, 18 plus 1d4, actually. Plus 1d4, cool. And same, same about the other one, too. But the other okay, one's not worth it. It won't hit anyway. Uh, so 18 definitely hits. Okay. Um, so five damage, uh, so yeah, you kind of... 2d4. Uh, seven damage. It's the first one. The, the second d4 was for the second attack. Oh, okay. It wasn't gonna hit anyone. Um, so seven points of damage. Uh, yeah, you stab in, you see, uh, see if his body basically cracks a bunch as you do so. Oh. Um, this guy right here. Uh, he is going to, uh, attempt to push my cameras back. Um, but Kairos, give me a strength or dexterity uh, saving throw. Uh, remember, you get a minus one. Yes, but he oh, gets so my bless. Cool. He so. does get your bless, and this guy already got a three, so so you're fine. Okay. Uh, so he tried to push you uh, back into the flame, but failed. Uh, Dedrick, you're out. 
Uh, music still? Yeah, still music, but can I cast a spell while playing music? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, can I cause fear on the remaining... Um, uh, cause fear is a spell that happens around you about 10 feet. 10 feet. Okay, I wouldn't make it then. Um, is there like a little space that I could squeeze in somewhere here? Uh, you can try. But uh, anyone attacking you would have advantage. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't really move ahead because otherwise the ball of fire is gonna hit me. So. Is it our oh, okay. ear? Oh, oh, under my shoulders. I'll, I'll just spell it next turn. Okay, oh, yeah. what, do you, what do you do, there, buddy? Uh, cause fear on this guy right here. Cool. Um, yep, you cause fear on him. Give me. He's gotta give you a roll. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah. Uh, 21, he passes. He's fine. Oh. Uh, Merc Hammer. Uh, this guy's going to... Um, just look at the options here. Uh, he's going to invoke attack of opportunity from Norian as he moves out to here. Oh, what a whore. <laughs> Norian he really wants a spell <laughs> and blow him to the ground. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. There Ooh. we go. A 22 and a 17. Both hit. Uh, 14 damage. Oh, actually, I need to roll 1d4 for each one of those. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Damage. Uh, so let's go to the 4. Damn! First one is nice. an 11, the other one is a 10. Nice. And um, the second one's magical, actually. Yeah, yeah. The second one's magical for 10 points of damage. Sweet. So um, you stab him in the first time, you see there's a large crack. And with the other one, you just slice him in half. Yeah. Uh, so his ass crumbled. Look who just got saved. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ruben, you're up. Cool. So um, I'll I'll dispel my uh. Cool. My my ball of fire. Uh, and uh, I use uh. How how badly hurt is um. How's everyone's health at the moment? Um, I think the right camera's is slightly hurt. Yeah, 9 out of 10. <laughs> Norian, right, how well, much health do you have? I'm the pretty good. I only have 3. Uh, minus 3, so... Okay, good. No, I, I can't reach him anyway, so... Um, uh, I just kind of just wait here. <laughs> cool. Okay, uh, Rowan Merck's unfortunately dead. Uh, this hammer. Uh, he is going to do the same thing the last guy did. Uh, so attack of opportunity, Dorian? Uh, I actually did it on the last guy. Oh, yeah, right. Haha. -ha. But, uh, this guy will come to here, and he is going to take a slice at Vic Camero, so the plus six. And I kind of hope he fails this. <laughs> I have 11 AC. Okay, so he, <laughs> he hits you. <laughs> for, really? Uh, Just live. 1d12 for one point of damage. Yeah. I didn't feel like it, dude. Previous one was two, also a d12. Yeah. Uh, uh, the camera, she up. This is terrible. <laughs> Guys. Kill the wizard. Go there. Yeah. Wait, can I Sacrifice. hold my turn? Ah, uh, you can delay, yes. Alright, so I'm gonna hold my turn until after... Uh... After Norian. Cool. cool. Your AC is now 19. Uh, Ragnar, go ahead, your turn. Wait, what? You heard him, your AC is 19 now. 19. Yep. Okay, um... What? He didn't can realize. I <laughs> can I charge out to the guy under, like... This guy over here? Yeah, you can charge him. Okay, I do that. Do me attack. Like, I mean, like, actually charge him into the wall. So. Oh, okay, sure. Um, Give me a strength save and throw. Or st a strength um, check. check. Yeah, this guy's going to do dexterity save and throw. Um, and you get a 19. That's hard to beat. Hold on. You can do it, Greg. Plus two, and I still get my plus. Alright? Sure. Okay, so there's. Oh! Oh, this. Kuching. Kuching. Um, roll me damage for your shield. So that's, uh. Let's see. What would that be? 1d6? 1d6, yeah. 1d6 plus, uh, plus your strength mod? 
And plus the d4. Oh uh, yeah, and plus d4, yeah. You get that. Okay, so six damage. That's six. So six damage. Um, you you only, you feel like a you hear like a small crack as you uh, as you launch him into the wall. But you also uh, as an additional thing, you also have him pinned. Yeah. Um, against your shield. Uh, he is going to try to break out of the pin. The ten against your um, saving throw. Or be a strength check. Ah, uh, yeah, but he he still is pinned. Uh, Udafar, you're up. All right, so <coughs> I'm going to in the back of the head. This guy's turned around. Um, no. Yeah, he's facing. He, he, he's he's technically facing all of you, but if you get to that position, you will have um advantage on, I suppose. This position or up here? Um, right there. All right, so I'm gonna go right here then. Cool. And I'm gonna go with two-handed. Uh, first my short sword, then my dagger. Cool. So that's short sword misses. It rocks. And this is the dagger damage. Nice. Okay. Uh, twenty-four. Is that a crit? No. Uh, no. Cool. Uh, six damage. Uh, so yeah, you try to stab your dagger in. You can feel it get kind of deep, and you see a small crack form. Okay. Uh, no, 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 Norian. Oops. You come and go. Okay. You come and go. I'm gonna Whoa. head over here. And I'm gonna tag the same guy. Cool. Um, sec second one's actually a, a critical, it's a 19. Oh, nice. And I crit with 19. Nice. So. so, do some rolls, yeah. Uh, the second one is uh, 12 damage. Oh, plus the. Oh, 34, okay. Yeah. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay, uh, the second one is uh, 13 damage. Cool. And the first one would be 5. Oh, yeah. uh, the first attack you, you feel just kind of slams against his body, but the second attack is 14 damage, you said? 13. 13, okay. Uh, yeah, but he kind of just slices through him good. Uh, the Camrose, you're up. Fuck it. So I turn around, well, look at this guy. Burning hands. Yeah, burning hands, exactly. Put out in level 2 spell. No. <laughs> so, um, uh, alright. Two magic missiles on him and one on him. Cool. Um, so roll damage. So roll the two d four plus two for that guy. Uh, do you add plus two nice. to your? Oh uh, well, each one is a plus one, I believe. Oh, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah. So just plus two and. So yeah, uh, you 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 both kind of go up, spin apart, spin together, and then just slam through them. Uh, and he kind of Unifar is just covered with this dust. Mm. <laughs> Sorry Thank about you. that. And yeah, then I mean, the other guy gets hit please. with one, what doing do four. One? Uh, it just it, you see it kind of go through, go into him, and then just kind of reverberates for a little bit, but then it seems fine. Well, it's force, so does it stop his uh, casting, or does he have to roll against it or anything? Um, he would if he took damage. Oh shit! He didn't take damage from magic. I uh, so it usually takes down from now, just not from that kind of low amount. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's a whole turn, so I can't try to like wrestle the object out of his hand. Unfortunately, no. Okay. Cool. Um, you gonna try to deck me? Uh, I think he is going to disengage and run away. Ah, uh, pussy. On. Okay, and you hear a door close. Ooh, they think a door can stop us. <laughs> <laughs> Against my kick? Nah. <laughs> so there's still some dude there. Can we uh, knock him out, question him, eat him? Sure. <laughs> Wait, you want to uh, eat him? <laughs> eat him? Yeah, he, <laughs> consi considering he's completely surrounded, I will definitely say you guys can do that. <laughs> so um, you kind of pile of bodies outside just to... Get rid of them. There's so many bodies. So I only want to get uh, the bodies. See if there's something. Can I check the body? Yeah. Cool. Uh, give me, give me a roll. Checking the bodies. Uh, search check. Got. Okay. So I did two level one spell. Oh, that's a single D twenty for me. Uh, single D twenty. A nineteen. Cool. Nineteen. Nice. Um. Oh, fifty. Um, you act between them. You find about fifty-five silver pieces. Wow. Nice. Damn. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Five. Yeah. It's as if Mercs could pay the lot. 
So I walk up to Ruben and poke him in the eye. And say I need heals. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm back up yeah, for that. So wait, I I cast um. Wait. I say uh to cure the lesser wounds. Is it still? Would it take the same amount of power as a uh, cure wounds? I mean cure uh, to cure these ribs, or what? No, nah, you'll need lesser restoration. I I don't have that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Less, okay. Lesser restoration That's is cool. different from the other one. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, I cast cure wounds. Cool. Um. Hold on. Let me roll the die for that. I'm at a, uh. Shoot. Oh. How much do I heal for? Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. <coughs> Should have written that down. I think it's a 2d8. Uh, yeah. It's a 2d8 plus 2 hit points. Alright, I roll it. Damn. Last seven. Alright, so I'm better now. Alright, so what do you guys plan? Um, this guy, he's ours. I haven't rubbed one off in a while, so. Damn. <laughs> And dejected. That awkward <laughs> silence. Uh, I, I'm gonna. You can, these, these guys all actually have pretty good armor and weapons on them. Um, yeah. Oh, what type of weapons do they have on them? Uh, so, great axes. Um, this guy's got a, a good quality sword and shield. And um, are they? Um, what type of are sword? they? What type of sword? Long. Damn it! And the other one? Um, and the other ones they have battle axes and wooden shields. God damn it. I have a question. Are they engraved with uh, Blinking Raven symbols, or...? Ah, uh, they do have Blinking Raven symbols, yes. Okay. I make sure this guy's disarmed. He has no weapon, right? Uh, of course, yeah. You you, okay, you, okay. you, you guys aren't stupid. Oh, you have disarmed him immediately. And I say that... You guys are there. So I say... Look at him. What's in here? He, he spits in your face. Blood. Is he bounded right now? He's tied um, up. Um, he is not bounded yet. He's currently held by uh, by Uda Fire. All right. So I say, do I look familiar to you? And I draw my bow, and like have an arrow inches away from his face. And I say, yeah. if you spit on me, this is going through your face. Um, he kind of he's taken aback by by that. So I say, do I look familiar to you? Uh, he shakes his head. Uh, this guy was not part of the particular raid that um. That you are tucking in. All right, so I say you guys can do whatever. Sick. Oh, this fucking homo. Do we have to bring in the flesh-eating goblins, or? Um, you can. I say you... that. I say that nice and loud too. <laughs> the goblins are kind of just hanging out in the back, shrugging. <laughs> See, that's the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fucker better talk. I think we start taking off some fingers he, or something. He, he kind of sighs and he says, "That's um, that, that's it. That's a room where we hold um, some of our. It, it, it's a cleaning closet essentially. Oh. It's where it's where that's we hold true. um, like our our things like garbage we need to take out, and that that's why it's right by the door." He says. I just don't say we should check it out. I say, why don't we make him open it? <laughs> Uh, we trapped like the first door. I don't know. I don't think that'd be necessary. As I ask him, what's back here where the guy ran? Uh, he says that that leads further into uh, the f further into the base. How about down south. Well, down south. Uh, he, he says that's um that's a that's a linen closet. I say you got a lot of cleaning uh. <laughs> cleaning closets. He, he, he said that's a linen closet. That's a cleaning closet. Pay attention. <laughs> Damn. And he I'm is. Sorry, he is that sassy. I didn't know um, the mercenaries needed linen. 
So I smack him in the head. Do, uh, you smack him in the head. He gets hit. With Mage Hand, I give the Nori a tap on the shoulder and I say, Shing! Yeah. What? Decapitate <laughs> this fool. <laughs> I want to see a decapitation. Uh, I say, let me do the honors. I want to put one right in his head. He yeah, says, right. he, I, you, you seem kind of stopped. Says, no, no, wait, wait. I can, I can help you. I said we could help you too. No, he, he, he <laughs> says like arrow in your head, though. He says uh, I, I, I just, just wait one second. You, I could definitely be much more used to you. We'll start talking. He says no problem. Um, so he starts telling you things. Uh, one second here. It's all bullshit. We're killing him. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> say. Wait for the road. Okay, cool. uh, I said maybe the master could do something with him. I'll eat them wherever the master's into. Yeah, uh, so he starts telling you about the base and the layout. Um, Ragnar and Ruben quickly discover that he's he doesn't seem to be like he's actually telling you information. It's more like he's biding time. Mm, okay. Mm. Uh, Let it go. So we can you guys know? might want to tell, me, tell us this. I, I tell who to fire this and everyone else. So okay. I throw protestation. It sounds like a gladiator arena. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. there'd be minor illusion, but <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, minor illusion sound. Cool. All right. So I said, Nora, you want to be at him, or can I put this through his head? Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to arrow um, right through the chrome. Cool. Uh, you shoot him in the head. It's at this point that you uh. You, you hear a yell out as guys travel in and rush at you. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, you said guys. It's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just the one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to turn music on, too. Okay. Uh, uh, John, did you, you add guys. three health? Or... Uh, did I add what three health? If you add, add, added me. Yeah, three extra health or something. I think I had 37. I don't know why I have 40 now. Oh. Okay. Oh, such an honest person. Okay, uh, so yep, this guy gets to here. Uh, this guy gets here. This guy looks like a, a very well, wealthy uh, Citrine Crusader. Or X. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you see these doors fly open. This guy moves into here. Uh, you see this door fly open. It. Does this guy look the same as the other one, or is he the different uh, he, guy? he uh, looks similar, or... like a similar class, definitely. Does um, does this guy look like a ranking officer? Well, not a ranking officer. Uh, like this guy definitely officer. looks like he's like a ranking officer. Okay, so this guy. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, by the way, it seems like we're surrounded. One second, music's <laughs> not uh, playing. I'm just gonna restart my thing so I can get on music. Uh, okay, so as soon as this happens. Um, yeah, uh, but this is a surprise attack, so they're all gonna get attacked for opportunity on you. Oh, they're actually gonna oh, come wait, at us. I can't yeah, be surprised, they, so. they want you dead. Mm. Or at least wait, enslaved. Uh, I can't be surprised, so do they not it's have a time? What's that? I don't. I can't be surprised because I have a. Oh, cool. Alert. So then you, um, you get to act in this turn. I can't even shout out anything. Uh, when you want to shout out. I want to say, Roz, go get the master. Okay. The what? He, he's, he's saying he wants to go beg the mask, get master for help. Yeah. And we're going to owe him another favor. <laughs> we can take this guy. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I can get one of them in the nets. So no, I can get anyone yet today. I already said it. So everyone rolls, I presume? Um, yeah, everyone roll for initiative. It sounds to me like sometimes we should hear uh, Vic. We should have killed the guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did say to capitate. Fuck. Yeah. Well, at least I'm getting good rolls on initiative. That's good. Like the only good rolls I get nowadays. <laughs> All the crap these guys have like high decks. Uh, some, yeah. of, some of them are wearing capes. Oh, flipping capes. You didn't know that cape makes you super strong? 
can't make it increases your AC. Is that yeah. Yeah, wait, and he makes it look cool. Fuck. I have yeah, a plus six to an issue. Yeah, but any moving machine where you get like minus ten. Is uh, is the music playing or is it... I can't hear it. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, just restart your thing and you'll hear the music again. Yo, I had yeah, a cape yeah. this whole time. I can hear the music. They gave no, me plus didn't... initiative? Yeah, I was supposed to have a plus six. I was doing plus one. Fuck, I'm retarded. There you are. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so yep, you see nothing for cameras, you're up. Oh shit, I am? Yep. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, uh, you... Damn. You get no, you get no turn, because you're surprised. Ludo yeah. fire, it's the same, Norian, it's the same. Damn, Shaw, what are you trying to cheat for, man? Yep. <laughs> uh, this guy over here is going to start hitting his little, uh... He starts hitting his little thing, and uh, every, oh, you see all their skin turns to stone. Damn, yo, what a cunt. Okay, uh, Ruben. Uh... Right. Ah, oh, shit, the tune might... Or the, uh, the proper spell. Um... Uh, I cast, uh, Shield of Faith on... Who's gonna need it most? Um... Go on. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I know. I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm thinking, who's got the least HP here? Or I have I a AC 15 HP. Okay, I, well, I, I cast it under the camera because it doesn't have sure that much AC anyway. Uh, the road. Actually, it's, it's Ruben. You, you wouldn't even have a turn, would you? Because you're surprised. Or no, can yes, you not be surprised? I, yeah, sure, sure. Can you be surprised? Or who's a camp? No, Is Dedrick no, I... the camp be surprised? It's Dedrick that can't okay, cool. Time. Um, so Ronan Merc over here is gonna take a slice at Udo Fire. Um, with a plus... How much? Dedrick, did you run for, a uh, roll for Instinct? We have zero on the... Oh, oh, um, yeah, I restarted. So oh, I, I no, haven't... no, it hits. Uh, wow. 20 hits? A 20 or 15? I thought I got a 10. Did you say you got a 10? Wait, who got a 10? Oh, yeah, yeah, 10 doesn't hit. Yeah. Okay, uh, I, so this I, guy this guy tries to slice at you, fails. Uh, this guy right here, apparently the leader, uh, he's also going to. I think he's just going to grab onto you and uh, give me a Constitution saving throw. Do the fire. Uh, D twenty plus. Let me see my con real quick. Oh, it's up all these extra Holy shit! All right, fucking extra Hey, um, I ever started my browser. It's a fifteen. Uh, 15? Yeah, because cool. minus one because of the damn fleece. Yeah. Uh, cool, so you take... Uh... You take four points of damage uh, as your life gets drained from you. Whoa. Whoa. Um, Somebody. Is it a bad time to say I have an initiative of 15? So shouldn't I go gone for oh, him? Oh, cool. Uh, initiative of 13. Um, well, you can make you also go before the Merc Leader, so let's just do that. Or after the yeah. Merc Leader, so let's just do that. Um, okay. where is your initiative? He's at the bottom. Uh, uh, yeah, I had to start my browser. So I even, oh, Dedrick, you're, oh, you're 15 or 13? 15, 15. Okay, 15. cool, cool. So yeah, uh, what do you want to do? Oh, uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to join the thing. You ping. I'm looking for Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, blink, blink. Fear, man. Uh, yeah, against Citrine. That's gonna work. Oh, uh, well. I'm gonna cause fear. Well, um. I have experience fighting the, the Citrine, and I did, and we did some, like, pretty messed up stuff to their guys. So, you know. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna use that experience to pass it on. Nope. You gonna, oh, you gonna try to cause fear? Yep, cause fear. Cool. Uh, oh, so it's gonna work on all these guys, so they're gonna do wisdom saving throws. Uh, plus five for him. Sweet. Oh. Holy sh. Uh, also a pass. Uh, also a pass. Wow. Also a pass. Also wow. Pass. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I fell. Those went out the house. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Shame. So, Edric, I, I think you and I have very different meanings of um, the term fear. So, what what actually happens is, uh, Dedrick says, don't worry, guys. And uh, he, said, he see him start casting a, a spell with his thing, and then he just disappears in a cloud of smoke. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so the Merc, uh, this guy kind of 
He kind of raises an eyebrow at that guy disappearing, but he shrugs and he moves in to slice that Ruben. Oh, uh, unfortunately, he misses. I say unfortunately, which is hilarious. Uh, next guy. Uh, this guy right here, he can't really do anything. He's going to take out one of his only daggers, throw it at Norian. Uh, 18 is going to hit. Yeah, that's me, AC. Cool. You take two points of damage. Okay. okay. Uh, this guy over here is just going to chill. Uh, Roman Merc, he's going to slice that Rudolph fire. Um, yes. Guys, we can farm these people for silver. <laughs> sugar, baby. Um, so a 21 Udafire, dealing 1d8 points of damage. 1 point of damage. Oh, thank you. Hey, Lord. Okay. And uh, this guy here looks to Vicanro, and he's gonna smash him with his with his giant axe. I'm gonna say no, 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 no. Hit Udafire. Uh, <laughs> he gets you with a 22. Alright. He, 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 slam he slams you for 5 damage. Look at him in the eyes, he's gonna fucking regret that. Yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. Uh, okay, uh, your camera is your turn. <laughs> go invisible. You can go invisible? Yeah. Do you, how, how much uh, spells do you have left anyway? Well, that was my last level 2 spell. Cool. Uh, so you go invisible. Um, poof. Uh, Udo Fire. Um, I am in a very bad position. Yeah, that's why I kind of bugged. <laughs> yeah. Using your last spell of the day. I don't think that was the smartest No, last level 2 spell. Oh. All Nick, right, if I would have saved that, I'd be dead. Let's put it like that. Alright. <laughs> So I'm gonna turn right to the boss. Oh, is this space free? Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna turn right to the boss and use my second spell day hunter's mark on him. Cool. So I deal an extra d6 damage to him, and I awesome. got advantage on any uh wisdom, intelligence, or rolls against him. Cool. So I'm gonna take first a short sword. I don't even need to. I got the hotkeys for that. Cool. So that's 21. five. Yep, you hit. That's seven, and these are the extra two d6s. Okay, cool. Uh, with your second attack, you plank against his shield. Uh, but with the first attack, you do manage to hit. Unfortunately, you hit him in the face, and you can feel his iron skin just resist the entire attack. So I don't wow. even need to roll the d6? Um, no. <laughs> uh, right. Which one did you hit? This guy? The boss, yeah. Okay. Neither attack did anything to him, so I'm going to disengage. Um, you already attacked. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck yeah. Me. All right. Um, uh, here you go. Okay. Uh, is this door closed? Uh, is that door closed? Where? Uh, over here. To the right. Uh, no, it's open. Okay. Can we see anything further than that? Uh, it's too high up. Uh, free to see. Okay, um... At, at the angle that this thing is going, the stairs are going, it's it, it's too steep and you can't see up. You can't see through it. You can't see anything important through it anyway. Besides the roof. Okay, crap. Uh, uh, the little girl is going to send a shot. 15. It is going to... It's going to plank off this guy's armor. 50 is not up to hit anyone. Okay. Besides the opportunity attack this guy's going to have, can I move over here? Uh, let's see here. Uh, you wanna move where? Over here, below this guy. Uh, no, not possible. Not possible, crap. It's too Um, alright. Um, damn. You guys need to move. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna point this way with his word. You gonna what? To... I'm gonna point this way. Oh, cool. Uh, you know, going up, whatever. Oh, to beautiful! Point to the three guys. I'm excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go for and it. And I'm gonna say, Azrath Metriac Sintus. Say it like a like you mean it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, prepare. <laughs> yeah, and I go, Azrath Metriac Sintus. I was I was hoping for like a Zinthos, but um, Zinthos, yeah. Um, yeah <laughs> You see all these guys get kind of pushed back as this water uh, spraying at them. 
Who's with it? Uh, unfortunately, they did not go, um, get, get knocked over. Ah, no. too bad. Blood. Uh, but this guy does have to do a saving throw, and he succeeds. Cool. Um, so, uh... Uh, Ruben. Cool. Um, uh, I grab my base, and I swing it from the bottom up, trying to... Uh, hit the guy in Dis front of me. You want to disjaw him? Basically. Dishead cool. him. Yeah, give, give me a roll. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, unfortunately, he blocks it with his shield mightily. Is that is that is that less the lawn or no? Uh, I'd say no. I, I think um, Ragnarok stopped stopped it once the battle stopped. Okay. Ah, uh, didn't even work. Um, uh, this guy's nah, gonna. Screw it. Yeah, sure. Uh, can I can I use my RP die? Oh sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Use your RP die right now. Um, I'm gonna save. It's gonna hit if you use your RP die. Yeah, it hits. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally one off. Uh, so yeah, dual damage. Okay, um... So, yeah, this guy's gonna charge... Oh, this guy gives you a 6 damage to this guy here. Uh, you, you kind of stab it, and you kind of bash it against it, and you see a small crack form. Um, and, uh, over here, the Ronin Merc, uh, he's about to take a slice into Norian, and that's when, from above him, you see fade back into reality, Dedrick lands on top of him. <laughs> wow. Um, he, you, you see him fade back in, but also covered in spiders. <laughs> um, so he, just, he comes back in, you see him screaming off the top of his lungs. <laughs> okay, that must cause the urge to the Uh Yeah, they are they are both prone now, uh, and and technically the same space. Wait, so did we find out their weakness, spiders? Oh, um, so it's have... more like a guy landing on them. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, spiders. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah, Dedrick, I'll say you can you have your action one action, but no movement. One action. Um, can I widely? Can I wildly start beating the crap out of the guy beneath me? <laughs> yes, you can. Give me a give me a, some pack rolls. If can they use both hands and would they count Course, as both hands? One attack or okay. Both hands. Yeah. Starts decking him. Two attacks. With both hands. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Yes. Uh, so yeah. With the punch. <laughs> so yeah, you you just punch him right in the mouth, and uh, you deal. Uh, how much strength do you have? One. Zero? Uh, yeah. Okay, you deal one point of damage to his face. <laughs> and you punch him in the mouth. Do I, do I knock him down? Does Can get, I get... He's, he's get already knocked down. They're both... They're Can both you mount not. him? Um, I mean, knock I, him out. Oh, no. You need to you need to hit him really, really hard to knock him out. He's a supreme crusader. Does, does um, he get stun points? He does get an RP die. Oof. Roll that <laughs> shit. Um, but he, he gets it. He doesn't have to roll if he doesn't want um, Merc leader now. Um, he is going to try to slice at uh, Udo Fire. Lovely. Hmm. He'll be good. He'll miss or get a critical. Hmm. I could have sworn Dedrick's 20 was that critical. Uh, he might get a crit. Uh, he's he's going to look at you. Maybe he won't hit. Maybe he'll do something else. Because uh, if he hits you, you're probably going to die. No, no, it's not that it doesn't want to hit you. Uh, he he, he get has got a lot of options. It's that, yeah, he's, he's, he has a he has spells that he can use. Uh, no, he's, he's wondering what you hit you with. He's just going to slash <laughs> you. Uh, and he's going to miss. That's when you hear this guy up here yell out the words, SUNDA! And you see a rocket seems to get attached to the ba a magical rocket to the back of his blade, and it slices for a 20 instead of a 10. <laughs> Dealing what? three points of damage. Yeah. What? Ragnar. Wow. Um, I believe another bless this is in order. Uh, do you do you have that much spells per day? Yeah, I have Sweet. three per day. I just used one so far. Cool. Ah, uh, so you cast blessed. Sha. <laughs> uh, human merc. Yeah. Uh, so now he's blessed. Now he's not. He's not blessed. You guys are blessed. Now he's gonna try to slice that uh, Ruben again. Whiskey keeps rolling elevens. Amazing. Cool. Cool. Um. Yep. You see, this guy's going to move in. 
And yeah, there's a new one there. Uh, human Merc. He's going to attack Dedrick. He has advantage because Dedrick's on the ground. Uh, oh, he gets a natural well. 20. Holy 20. Uh, he's going to do 2d8 points of damage. Uh, he deals 7 points of damage to Dedrick as he slices into him. By the locks of Freya. Cool. Uh, the Chaplain. Uh, yeah, he's going to chill. Uh, Ron Mark, he is going to command Udo Fire to get on his get on his stomach. Uh, uh, do roll, I me, roll? roll me a Wisdom saving throw. Minus one. Yep, so plus two instead. Oh, mm. you're fine. You say, though. fuck you, you, you get on your stomach. You, you, <laughs> you, you, you feel compelled to do it, but then at the back of your mind, you're like, oh, that'll really hurt my ribs. Then for some reason, you just don't do it. Um, this guy, however, is going to try to slice you the fire up. Or he's going to try to stab him good with his weapon. Uh, plus six as he slices into you with a natural 12. Oh my god, come on. on. Nine. Okay, he John, does. stop bringing the dice, come on. Yeah, you wish I rigged the dice. Uh, <laughs> if I rigged it, how did that happen? Because mm. I re-rigged the motherfucker. Yeah. I, I, possible of getting 24 and 2 damage, and he got 2. That, so that's yeah, it, you're, you're just pretending now. Yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that happens there. I'm tasting uh, death right there. Peekaboo, motherfuckers. They yeah. Really? Cool. So this is a fucking uh, camera. Uh... You appear where? Oh, cool. Yeah. This is the guy that played me, right? Um. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I deal 13 damage to him. Doing what? Magic missiles. Nice. Uh. Cool. So your things go through, and they kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's, it's enough to just kind of it just smashes him into bits. <laughs> what level spell is invisibility? Two. So I say that's what, that's what happens when you fuck with me. <laughs> so instead of disengaging, he just went invisible. <laughs> Hell yeah, because I can. What's good? Little fire, you're <laughs> up. All right, so I'm gonna disengage right here. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you get the hell out of there. Oh okay, yeah, uh, you disengage and move right there. Is that yep. all you want to move to? Oh, uh, would I be able to attack now? No, but not? you can move further. <laughs> Oh, I can move after disengage? Alright. Yeah, yeah, dis dis you, dis you can move after disengage? Disengage allows you to move without taking a tax of opportunity. Yo, you're but fucking that me. That's a... I thought that was your movement, though. Yeah, I thought that was like a shift back. No, no. no, no. Oh yeah. my god. Disengage, here you can move action. half your no. movement. But... Disengage is an action that allows you to move without um, without having issues. Oh my god. Uh, that, that's that's how it is now, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> um, would have fired I mean? Norian. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I don't get an attack opportunity if I move here with the guy on the um, ground, right? This, yeah, he's currently on, has a guy on top of him, so he'd have trouble. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move right here. Cool, fuck. Um, and I'm little girl on top of you shoots the thing. Unfortunately, it just goes wide. Yeah, can we get her a real one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is all she knows. Really? We can't train her to use a short ball or anything? Oh! Beautiful. The twenty is that nat? No, it's not natural. It's shame. No, it's an eighteen. Um, do, what's the one the one d four for attack or for damage? Um, it's for attack. Not damage. Um, so yeah, with your magical weapon, you actually slice through him and his uh his uh, stone skin. Cool. Yeah. Don't buy this game, by the way. A new one just came out today. We're falling through the play hour. Cool. Um. So we are at Ruben. Cool. Um. And at least I, I just look at Vic and I win. <laughs> I try to attack this guy again. Cool. Uh, the guy in front of me. Give me a roll. Eighteen. Like that. Roll damage. Eight points of damage. Cool. Ah. Uh, so you. Do, do I get any good... bonuses? With the, uh, with the bus? Uh. No. No, that's only for attack. Yeah, so you deal three points of damage to him. Uh, the Roman Merc here, uh, what is he gonna do? Uh, well, first, he is bit by spiders. <laughs> uh, he takes three points of poison damage. Uh, oh. Actually, they, they can't actually pierce his, his hard exterior, so he takes zero points. Wait, 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 realism. Uh, there are spiders with metallic fangs. Uh, oh, okay, but it would still be very difficult. Uh, I'll roll 1d20 to see if these ones have those specific type of fangs. Wait, no. These ones Can have those specific type of fangs. <laughs> <laughs> Dedrick, 
<laughs> By the way, Dedrick, <laughs> enjoy <laughs> that. I appreciate it. Okay, he takes three Wait, points of damage. Okay, uh, yeah, so, Dedrick, uh, so yeah, he he's going to command you to uh, to to go away. Um, so you you basically just crawl over here. Go to your room. Yeah. And then he uh, and then he stands up. Hey, uh, Dedrick, you're up. Uh, you are attacked by spiders. Give me a Constitution saving throw as they start biting into you. Yeah. Because apparently their fangs are too strong. <laughs> nice. Plus yeah. Four for my plus. Cool. Plus twenty four. Oh right. Uh. All right. <coughs> You take one point damage from poison. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, Merc Leader. Can't you get up or something? Hi, yeah, I guess it's your turn. We want to do that, buddy. Uh, What's up? Don, I think there's, um,. I think there's an extra purse on the turn order. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, Dedrick, what do you want to do? <laughs> oh, hello? Yeah, Dedrick, um, is your turn. Am I, uh... Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I suggest you get up, yeah. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and cast Thunder Wave. For guys. Cool. Uh, one, two... I and yeah, only you going to hit two. Um. So yeah. Uh. The, what's your what's your spell DC? Spell DC? Uh. Yeah. How do I find that out? It would be your I think your charisma plus proficiency yeah. plus, plus eight. eight. Plus eight. So eight plus five would be thirteen. Thirteen. Cool. Uh. So they're both knocked back, and I'm assuming you're prone. So bra bra. And how much damage do they take? They take, uh, oh, I gotta roll for that. Oh, let me, let me make sure. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I believe it. 2d8. I'm gonna double check. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thunder wave. Uh, yeah, 2d8. Let me go ahead and cast that. Does Bless do, do anything for that, no. or? No. Okay. 2d8. Well, cool. Um, unfortunately, it's not enough to get past any of this dumb stuff. Bloop, bloop. But they both are prone. Um, that's right. Uh, so this person comes out, runs over here. Uh, you see, see half her face is burned. Uh, she has this long silver hair. And uh, she takes out a long ornate bow um, and a, an arrow with a head looks like a... Like the like a raven, and she's going to take a fire at Nori. Yeah. With a twenty-three. The... Okay. 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 Uh, give me a Constitution saving throw. All right. Um, the oh. John, yeah, the guy that fell is he still playing the sticks or whatever the fuck? Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. Okay, uh, in addition to that, you see Norian just kind of go, Mama, I want to stay home and bake cookies with you, as he falls asleep. Fuck! <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and uh, somebody was saying, yeah, uh, I'm going to roll for that. Uh, yeah, this guy is still playing the music. Yeah, he's, still, he's, still, he's still tapping it. That's awesome shit. Um, so the Merc leader, seeing Norian uh, just go down, he's going to step forward, invoking attack of opportunity for uh, Ruben. Let's do this. No. Seven. That's and he's going to take his blade and he's going to try to stab into Dedrick's neck. Oh. Unfortunately, he is going to miss. I'm assuming that 12 doesn't hit. Yeah. Uh, oh, she has advantage. <laughs> Because Ruben's on the ground, uh, Dedrick's on the ground. Uh, 19. Didn't he stand up, though? Uh, he, who, uh, Dedrick? Yeah. I don't think so. Did he say he stood up? I thought he cast a spell instead. He crawled and cast a spell. He just oh. BRB'd. 
Okay, well, oh, the point yeah. is he just took 7 points of damage. A uh, human merc. Oh, is it his oh, turn? Oh. Okay, uh, Ragnar. <laughs> um, let's see. Eh, charge at the Peter guy. Why not? What's that? Could you charge? Charging at the leader guy. Ah, uh, you, you you you, you couldn't charge not that 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 close. You can try tackle him though. Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, shield mastery. Uh, if you you can take uh, if you take the attack action on your turn, you can cause a bonus action to try to shove a creature within yeah, five feet of you. Yeah, okay. Shoving. Um, sure, you can try to shove him, but that's different. Yeah. between charging and shoving. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, no, it's no problem. It's just semantics are stupid anyway. Yeah. Uh, so that's just strike long five, correct? Oh uh, yeah, just give me an attack. Oh. Yeah, because if you hit with this attack, you get a shove, right? That's what the what yeah. said. Uh, unfortunately, you kind of bash him, and he oh, wait, just kind of... Bless. Would the blast affect it or not? Uh, it would, yeah. Give me 1d4. You need a 4. Yep. Um, even with a 4, it would probably fail. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. So you, you smash him with a shield, and he smashes you right back with this. Okay. Yeah. Um, this... Uh, Merc is going to stand up, he's going to charge, one, two, three, four, and he's going to try to stab uh, Dedrick as well. Uh, 16 is going to miss his AC as Dedrick kind of jumps out of the way. Uh, Dedrick, you're up. Um, Dedrick, you are covered in spiders. Give me a copy of the same throw. Yeah, wait, wait, okay. where are you at, Ragnar, though? Oh, that was perfect timing. Um, yeah, what's what up, happened? Ragnar? Yeah, because you skipped us. It was that the oh, that's, list of the That's guys. really weird. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, so oh, no. this human merc's gonna attack Ruben. Uh, it's gonna miss. Uh, it's gonna get critical. Oh, yeah, 15. I rolled a 15 for you. Yay! Let me see what we can do for 15. Oh, oh, oh. Um, can I... Uh, can I disarm him? I uh, disarm him? Uh, you can try. Yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, he's. Oh, oh, sure. What? Actually, no, no. Sorry. Uh, can I get? Uh, I put him off balance and uh, uh, get momentum on him. Perfect. Perfect idea. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Roman Merc is going to slice at. He could coup de grace this guy. That would be fun. No, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll one twenty to see if he coup de grace Norian. Andy coup de grace Norian. Uh, yeah. so while Norian's down, he just takes his, uh, foot and he just slams it into Norian's chest over and over again until, uh, all his ribs break. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Can I use any RP dice for something? Um, okay, use, use the RP dice. You can bring this, de 14 down to 10, I'll allow it. I'll allow you to. Cool. I think he's gonna roll a 4. Oh, okay. shit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, your your ribs are officially broken, and you you lose ten maximum health. So can I use the other one? <laughs> As well as now being unconscious. Yeah, fuck it. Use the other repeater. <laughs> yeah, can I use the other day? Um, no. You oh. Save it. So you're unconscious. Uh, your maximum health is reduced, and you're down to zero health. Wow. Right. He had the little girl on his back though. Yep. Oh. And she is still. Uh, she she kind of crawled out. Okay, alright. Yeah, she got squished. Yeah, uh, so Ronan Merc did that. Uh, the Merc Hammer is dead. Um, that guy's over there. The camera is here. Fuck. You got no spells left. I do. Oh, you, you got try playing me like that, homo. Let's see. Uh, fuck. Massa? Alright, no. Why do you keep saying that? This guy. This guy, that guy. I'm gonna hit him with the, uh. The beam of freezingness. I get a plus anything from Bless or any stupid shit like that? Yeah. Uh, 1d4. <coughs> wow. That's a shame. That is. Okay, and you were trying to do what there? Ray of Frost. <laughs> okay. Uh, Udafire. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. God damn it. This does not look good for us. 
Uh, what's that buff on that guy, by the way? Uh, this guy here? Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that means you can target him to get an extra 1 to 6, because okay. you're you. Um... Let me see what this does. Do, do, do. I'll be back. <laughs> Very battle heavy. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to attack the the master, the boss with a uh, my sure. longbow. Give me a roll. Twenty-one hits. Beautiful. Yep, hits exactly. Uh, and then I get an extra D6 from yep. my hunter's mark. So thirteen, and then I'm going to go for a spell after hitting him. Uh, I just lost it. There we go. Uh, ensnare and strike. Okay, cool. So cool. Pretty much when it hits, uh, thorn, thorny vines like appear at the point of impact, and he must do a saving throw, strength saving throw. Nice. Be restrained by them until the spell ends. He passes. Ah, damn it. Alright. Okay, uh, Norian. Uh, roll me 1 to 20. Okay. Unfortunately, you do not get up this turn. Uh, the chaplain, he's doing nothing. Uh, Ruben, what do you do? Okay, so, um, I go over, I, I look at the, uh, the girl. Cool. Uh, and I call out, Lana! Uh, you see her kind of open her eyes wide and look left and right, but then she gets determined again, draws her bow, bow, yeah, bow back she, again. She was kind of Sylvia, not Lana, but... Um, okay, so I, I attack him anyway. Cool, but as yeah. I'm, uh, as I'm doing that, I, I say, um... Oh, crap, well, I, I missed. <laughs> yeah, so you're like, hey, we got whoa, as you kind of missed uh, this guy. You didn't get a one, though, at least. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, I know. Um, I asked. Wait, actually, no, I get advantage on him. Seeing as, uh, I had momentum. Cool. <laughs> Did you roll the same you thing? Yeah. <laughs> um, you <laughs> Um, again... Yeah. Oof, man. Dedrick's doing good down there. Uh, Dedrick, you're up. Uh, your constitution saving throw will be bitten by spiders. Can the spiders eat the fleas while they're at it? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Got it. Well, you take two points of poisonous damage right now. <laughs> okay. Um, you see this girl. Uh, yeah, she's gonna say retreat, you fools, and she backs up. Wow, who is that? Oh. Uh, the leader is going to uh, he's going to invoke attacks of opportunity from both Reuben and Ragnar as he moves this way. Wait, give me some attacks. Uh, Twelve's going to miss him. And Reuben, um, you want to give me attack? Oh, you got twelve. So yeah, you both kind of hit against his shield, and um, yep, he he goes back. Oh, nope. There we go. Okay, uh, Ragnar, you're up. Um, I pinned the guy who was right in front of... The, or, I charged the guy who was right in front of the group. Cool, cool. Um, give me a roll. He's going to try to contest you. And does Bless apply to that? It sure does. Ooh, he's going to fail. Unless oh. you get even lower. <laughs> um, so you charge in, and he just jumps out of the way as you slam into the thing. Um, you kind of, you kind of hurt your head a little bit and you land on your butt. Wait, I got the 8 from that one though, plus the... You got an 8 from what? Uh, the first 8 yeah, It was charging. an 8 plus 3. Yeah, 8 plus 3 for the bless. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah, you win him then. Yeah. I was, I was like, what do you... You got like a, a 3, that's really <laughs> low. Cool, uh, so you hit him, you pin him, dealing 1d6 damage. Okay. Three. Cool. Three points of damage to him. Well, actually, you do zero points of damage to him because he's he's still iron or still rock. Mm. Um, human merc. He's going to try to escape. Most likely fail. Is contested. But natural twenty is going to be hard to beat Ragnar. Okay. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, he kicks you off, and you you basically push Ruben back as he lands there. That's okay, Ruben. I can protect you now. <laughs> All part of the plan. Cool. And then he's going to try to move. Uh, Ragnar, you get attack of opportunity, but Ruben does not. And that's a miss. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, wow, this is got uh, twenty. Twenty's a hit. Uh, do damage. Four that's damage. A, nothing. Uh, he <laughs> runs away. <laughs> Uh, Merc Hammer, there. Merc Human, there. Merc Chaplain. Uh, he's gonna run two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna do another run. Boom. And the Ronin, he's going to uh, move to here. He's gonna give Ragnar a slice. For a 19. Armor class is 20, so nothing. Beautiful. Um, you see, you see this guy up here yell out Sunda, and the attack becomes 29. Does a 29 hit your AC? Yes, I believe it does. In that case, he deals 3 damage as this rocket attaches to his hilt and shoves it even further in. Okay. Doing 3 points of damage, and then he continues his movement and gets to about there. Um, uh, Merkhammer... The Kemros. Vic? I think it was oh. still... No, I don't know, but um, fuck. Everybody started fleeing. Like little bitches. Um, is this guy? In, well, I look at both of them to see which is in worse condition. I'm gonna guess both of them are pretty okay, right? Ah, uh, yeah, both of them are quite strong. This one has a few more scratches on them. All right, fuck it. Uh, I can always say anything good on him. Ray of Frost. Bro. Oh, Ooh, what? that's a hit. Three points of damage, cool. Um, yep, so you, you cool him. Unfortunately, his skin is still stone. Does he get uh, slowed, though? Yeah, he gets My slowed. Turn. Ooh, the fire, your turn. Okay, so, um, everybody should I don't... Oh. So, one, two, three. Would I be able to take... He's prone, right? Um, <laughs> this guy, yeah, he's prone. Be, would I be able to hit him up the stairs with my bow? Um, you could try, but he would have advantage. You'd have disadvantage because he's prone. Uh, and and not, not to mention, you have to shoot through two guys, so he would have full cover. I would really suggest hitting anyone else. Yeah, fat dude in front. Plus six, plus one d four. Fifteen uh, against whom? This guy. Cool. Uh, that is going to miss. With the pink off his armor. Uh, Norian, uh, give him 1d20. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah. You oh. backflip back up with your <laughs> yeah. broken ribs. Said I was just dead. Really dead. The little girl just hops back on your back. Uh, roll me 1d10, plus your con. All right. So you get, um, six, you're at six point, hit points now. Okay. Uh, you want to do anything else? Uh, sure. I'm gonna hit that. Because why not, right? Yeah, exactly. Plus one. That's not gonna hit. Uh, oh, nope. Nope. But but extra one, one, one d four. Extra one d four on the top one. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to separate you. That's a nineteen. Nope. Uh, right. Ruben. Yoke. Alright, so um, I'll try and hit him with my mace. Can I hit him on this one? You wanna what? Can I hit him with my mace, this guy? Uh, you can try. Uh, no, not from. Yeah, you can. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, did Nor is is uh, is Norian alive? Yeah. Uh, Norian, yeah, he he seems alive and well. Although he just he's, up, so. You can see his armor is dented oh, inwards, yeah. though, on his chest. Holy shit, that guy's a strong stuff. Okay, and a 22. That's going to hit. An 8. Three damage. Okay. You managed to bash him good. Uh, he is going to slice at Norian. For a 15. Uh, these guys are out of their, uh, 
their cast, so that's one spell. So then he's going to back off. Uh, attacks of opportunity. From Dedrick, Ruben, and Norian. Holy crap, if y'all land, he's going down. That's a hit. Oh. Edric? Uh, when there's an attack of opportunity, I can cast a spell, right? No. Okay, I can't. Um, no, it's a basic attack with your sword. Uh, sure, are you, why are you not? Hold, are you holding uh, on to a sword right now? Yeah, I'm not playing my flute, so... Okay. You, you played your flute the last round to get that spell out, but whatever. Did I? Yeah, you ha you have to use your unless you don't want to get the plus two proficiency bonus. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, so you'd have your flute, so you wouldn't get attacked. Uh, Norian. Um, both miss unless you get an extra one d four to each, which you do. Yep. Cool. Uh, twenty one and seventeen. Okay. Uh, with your twenty one, you manage to deal. Good amount of oh, you, you managed to cause a little bit of problems for him. You can see his body kind of falter a little bit, but he continues running. RP down the second one, finish him. Sure, give me a roll. <laughs> no, you can if you want. Uh, Dedrick, you take spider damage. Constitution saving throw. Gone. Oh, you're fine. Uh, yeah, the spiders, the spiders disperse. Do, uh, um, do I become Spider-Man at the end of this? Uh, essentially. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, boom, boom, Ragnar, you're up. Um, uh, I might as well use my healing spell on Norian. Cool. 2d8 plus 2. So, 11 health, uh, Norian. Nice. Thanks, bud. No more problem. Okay, uh, it would be the camera's turn again. Yo, can I even do anything? Well, you can see one guy up here. Kill so bust that door down. <laughs> do you have any spells that could? No, but I could hit him with that. Uh, yep, you hit him with a 20 through 20 and do some damage. Make him nice and frosty. Yeah, it does nothing. Food of fire. Okay, so I'm gonna run up the stairs, right in front of him. Cool. Short sword and dagger. The song is no longer playing, right? Oh uh, god. Yeah, it's not. Um, as you get to there, ready to action by the girl, you are shot with an arrow, or shot by an arrow. Um, plus six. Uh, thirteen hit your AC. <laughs> okay. Uh, you hear the word Sunda, and it comes to twenty-three. That's a, that a rocket to the arrow? Uh, that rocket launches on the arrow. You take six damage. Give me a Constitution saving throw. Nigga go night night. He's gonna get dragged up and raped. I mean, cool. Oh, um, you notice that the arrow it kind of blows up in front of you, and um, it kind of like blows up in like a shadow, and the smoke and shadow kind of forms around you to your back, uh, forming wings it seems, and the wings just start flying you backwards. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to fly forward. No. <laughs> you're, you're flying away. Uh, you get to a here, and you're now uh, uh, essentially on the roof. Uh, Norian, you're up. Um, I'm going to catch Uda Fire. <laughs> uh, you're a human, right? Uh, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's human. He's not a dwarf. Uh, okay, give me a strength jump check. A flex check for jump. Okay. Athletics. I actually have. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're exactly your proficiency. So give me a give me a roll to jump up there to get him. Okay, that's um. Fifteen. Cool. Uh, so you jump on. You manage to grab onto his leg, start pulling him down. Uh, with your added weight, the wings have trouble maintaining until eventually it just kind of burst and they fall on top. He falls on top of you. Uh, both of you prone now. Lovely. I say thank you. Break more ribs. Sure. Both got broken ribs! Yeah, Sorry. both of you have, both of you have broken ribs. Each take one D four damage from broken ribs. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you barely alive there? Awesome. Two health. <laughs> wow. Okay, and uh, this guy retreats. 
Uh, you see this door get yeah, closed, and you start hearing the sounds of things being pushed up against it. So I say, why the hell are they running away from us? Because oh, are we doing initiative, or are we... Uh... called for backup. Yeah. Well, I mean, Roz, go get the massa. Doesn't sound like get backup. Especially when I said it in fucking Goblin, but okay. Oh, you did say it in Goblin. So maybe yeah. they didn't understand you, maybe they did, but they were they had us on the ropes. Why would they run away? I don't know. I feel like some other spirit feels bad for us. Yeah. Um, I tell you why. Narian got to have that's why. <laughs> no. I'll say, how was the nap? Um, it's good. I, Refreshing. I use uh, I use my remaining spell to uh, yeah. uh cast a uh, cure wounds I on um, cure wounds on uh on Udafar. Cool. I see. We got a rape. Badly. Wow. How much else do I get back for it? Uh, okay, buddy. I think it was like 2 d Uh, I'll check. I said, uh, do you think backup's even gonna show yeah, up? Yeah, 2d8 plus 2. So I'll, I'll be, I'll be two yeah. It's been quite some time and Roz hasn't came back yet. <sighs> yeah. So, uh, oh, you ha you. how long are you guys gonna wait out there? Or wait there? Um, wait uh, here? Yeah. Actually... Um... What's Check on the, the linen here? closet? Yeah. Okay. You guys want me to check the closet? Uh, yeah. You look, you look on the table, and you can see it looks like uh, looks like food and some poker games and some dice. Poker games? Is it like a full deck of cards? Uh, yeah. Let's get like a full deck of cards. Oh shoot! We can play poker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Oh, cool. Take like, the chips. Uh, you now can have I search a for small RP dice. Yet? Uh, you want to search for RP dice? Yeah. They aren't here. <laughs> so you, you, you find none. In fact, you find an injury die. Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky it was aesthetic. Can I just search for normal dice on the table? Like, they, we know they have card games. Do we have any dice? Uh, oh, you, you do see some die, yeah. You see about three. Okay. I'll take the die. Why not? And what's. Can we open this door or is it locked? Uh, it appears locked. Although the although the handle is going completely up and down, um, you assume that means sex just barred. So can I try opening it? Sure. I'm gonna move away before he does that, just in case. <laughs> so what about roll strength? Uh, essentially, yeah. Oh, you said there was food on the table. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh oh, sorry, sorry. Like, <laughs> what, what's the meal? Or is it a meal? Uh, it appears to be just bread and things of that nature. Uh, I'll take the bread. Cool. Okay, uh, so you got a 13. Uh, you can feel the door kind of budge and then it kind of pushes against you again. Okay, so there's something behind it? Perhaps, I can't tell you. No, like, is it like at the forest I was pushing back, was it always there, or did it just appear when I pushed back? Um, it, it felt like it was always there. Okay. okay so it might, might, it might be like a collapsed box, uh, like pushed against the table, or pushed against the door. Ryan, do you want to try? Uh, sure thing. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, you managed to push it completely open. Um, that's when you see uh, what was stopping it was a small dwarf and a large boulder. Cool. Uh, roll, uh, he's he's going to attempt to attack you. Of course he will. Yeah. Um, crap. Oh, nice. You add yourself to the initiative there, right? Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. That makes everything easier. Um, so yeah, cool. uh, this guy's going to roll similarly. The seven. Do I also have to roll or? Um, Ragnar can roll. I can. I don't know. Ragnar can, but Udo Fire okay. and Dedrick and everyone else isn't paying attention though. 
16. Not quite enough there. Um, so this guy goes first. You see this boulder begin to stretch out, and it, uh, it looks like it's it looks like it's pushing towards you in a spike-like pattern. Uh, roll me Constitution saving throws. Okay. I include you, Ragnar. Yep, I am. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, so we have this. Uh, Ragnar. Uh, Ragnar kind of starts pushing uh, Norian back forward as this thing is uh, stretching into him. And uh, basically, you get squished in between a strong push from Ragnar and this large uh, stone pushing into you, uh, Norian. So you are dealt 11 points of damage. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Now, uh, eventually, kind of Ragnar grabs you and he throws you aside, and this thing keeps going until it just plunks into the wall. It's nothing out that light on the other side. So, uh, did that door, did, did it look like it was a, like a jail door, or... Was that? Did the, what did the door seem like, like a jail door? Or... Uh, no, it seemed like a regular door. Oh, okay. <coughs> Why is there a really big giant in that door? Uh, yeah, there was a dwarf in that room, and, uh, Norian got attacked by a rock spike. Can I, uh... Did I use charm person on the rock? Sure. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> okay. It's not gonna do uh, anything. You can waste as many spells as you'd like. Oh, wait, hold on. Give me a sec. So, how about we all push the rock? Oh. That works too. Yeah. I mean, I'll go ahead and pitch in throw my string. Um, only two of you can actually get uh, on at one time. Alright, Ragnar. Okay. And... Uh, where, what direction are you trying to push us? Back in I say just like across the break it. Cool. Uh, what do you guys think? I say, well, we have pickaxes. Oh, that, that is true. But how long would it take to break a damn rock? A long time. Well, isn't it stretched out, so wouldn't it be thin? Um, perhaps. Why don't we blow it up? With? I don't have any explosives on me, so... That's explosive you guys try to use chase check. Exactly. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Um, the girl does mention um, that the other room uh, looks like it might have some material in it. Oh! oh Alright, let's make this there. quick then. I teleport uh, everyone through. <laughs> Uh, wow. She, she kind of points to underneath, uh, it should be un underneath us, or... and she points so, to, uh, she points to right there. Is that a rug? Yes. So I <laughs> ripped the rug off. So uh, I you, sit you, down you, and you, begin You notice that the, the rug appears to be nailed into the ground. Mm. Nailed right into the stone. Can I, uh, use my pickaxe to, uh, pull out the, the nail? Sure. Uh, you can just cut around the nails. That's also so. smart. So that's and, exactly yeah, what I'll do. And that's then nice it disappears carpet. into another reality. Wait, what? No. Where'd I go? Oh, okay, thank god. You moved yourself here, so I was like, okay. Um, so yeah, uh, you, uh, Udafar takes out a knife and he starts cutting through. A dagger, just to make it quick. Yeah, uh, a dagger wouldn't be that quick. It's not very oh, sharp. Oh, then a sh long sword, a short sword then. Scimitar would be best. You have one. Um, so yeah, you, you basically rip it off and you look in and you can see underneath is, uh, the glow, or kind of the reflection. Of mithril. Uh, it looks like um, it looks like a small kind of vein that digs into the ground. I said, get to mining, boys. I start mining. Oh uh, well, that's doing that. Can I try talking to the dwarf in that room? Uh, there's, there's a thick stone in between you and him. I'm going to right. attempt a short rest. How long would that take? An hour. All right, six. So I'm gonna sit here as long as I can without being fucking disturbed for an hour. Cool. Uh, anywhere in particular you wanna? You're just gonna do... Oh, you're just gonna do it there. You gonna take a drink too, maybe? Yeah, just chill, you know. Yeah, I uh, don't need the light, by the way, because it's currently that's Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of gonna join, uh, Vic. Cool. <laughs> so you guys are taking an hour to rest. Um, the little girl gets off you and she starts um, she starts watching these guys as they mine through. I'm just giving them uh, inspiration. Uh, who exactly has pickaxes and wishes to mine? Uh, I'll, uh, I actually have one, so I'll go up there and help mine as well. Cool. 
so I'll just back and short rest as well. Yo, you guys cool. can't do this. I'm doing this. Yeah, and uh, Ruben, where you go? <coughs> that be our cheerleader. So, uh, my ass Udo Fire, where have you been? I said places. I said, um, I really, really don't want to talk about it. I've seen some things, some things that no man should see. Yeah, your mother naked. Um, what's up? So I, I hand him a cup of ale. Yo, are you sitting on me? Oh, I, I was sitting here first. Nah, I was sitting here first, yo. <laughs> yo, shit just got real gay. I ignore Udo Fire. Terrible. Try sitting on my lap. So you're all resting and drinking and putting your bandages on while Dedrick and Ragnar are working. I'm not sure what Ruben's doing though. He's just watching. He's playing with that yeah, torch. I'm just, in, I'm just sitting down, trying to rest and regain some of my spells because I know as soon as that happens, I can kill. Okay, so you're, so you're with these guys resting. Yeah. And I'm gonna actually rest right here, watching the door, bow in hand. Sure, sure. Yeah, I kind of do that thing where I turn the chair around, drink in hand, looking at the door. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, at the end I just slip. Yeah, at the end of the hour. <laughs> um, awesome. At the end of the hour, a couple of goblins come back in. Um, Roz and Victor and. Laika, um, they all enter in, and um, do you see that they brought about like, five goblins with them? Oh, sure. Yeah. We're like, the masses sent them? Yeah. Yeah, they nod. Wait a minute. Fuck! We just realized something. We sent Laika with them. No, we didn't. I sent Roz. Then why is... Oh, okay, okay. I thought she... Okay, I thought she did. They were just in a different room. Um, so yeah, uh, what's the name? Uh, Vic starts uh, serving you guys um, some air, sure. ale as you go around, especially Dedrick and Ragnar as they work. Yeah. Um, uh, the other one actually does some searching around and manages to find about. Uh, finds about 15 pieces of gold. I'm uh, sorry, silver. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, hey, gonna got the same. Yeah. So, I mean, we divvy that up. Wait. 15 so you just give 15? it to our uh, binker. 15. Oh. Like 13. Okay. You, you guys want me to hold on to it or you want to divide it up? I said just hold on to it and make it uh, sense. Yeah. Got it. Actually, hand him 48 and I give one silver to Roz. Uh, 47. One silver to Roz. One silver to. Vincent. No, there's only uh, 15. 15. Oh, I thought you said 50. Yo, never mind. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Add it to the harness. Um, they, one of them starts speaking calm with you. Starts asking, what, 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 why have you summoned us? I said, well, barred up the stairs, there seems to be about f f 10, anywhere from 8 to 13. Uh, yeah. blinking raving, <laughs> blinking ravens up there. We got into yeah. quite an altera uh, alteration. Yeah, yeah. He, he, takes, right he takes out a um, a bit of a, uh, a little thing. What's it called? Um, a kit. Uh, what were those kits you used to? A climber's kit. He takes mm -hmm. one out and uh, he takes out a hammer and says, "We'll uh, we'll seal the door from this side." And he gives you a nod. <laughs> And uh, they go up there, and uh, you, you hear them start hammering nails into the door. Good. Um, well, I go out there, and I say, before you start hammering it, uh, do you think it'd be safe to open? Uh, uh, could you guys open it? Um, they they say they kind of start pushing and pulling. They say no. Mm. All right. Okay. And yep. So they nailed in. So I'm studying my spellbook for this hour. Oh, of course. In addition yeah. to wrapping up bandages and although although the like would most likely be helping with that. Yeah. Um, I, I go up to the door. Uh, as yeah, you see, you, you, see it. you see three yeah three goblins putting spikes in. So let me get this straight. Um, I can either get a level two spell or two level one spells, right? Uh, what level are you? Four. 
Uh, yeah, sounds like that. Two level one. Oh, wait, is it, isn't it half plus one? I plus feel like one? it's half. Is it half rounded up or half plus one? Uh, is half your mage, half your mage level round up. Okay, round up. So yeah, you get two. So I'm. So gonna yeah, put one that. level two, one level two or two level ones. Okay. Um, during that hour, Dedrick and Ragnar, um, give me Constitution saving throw. Actually, athletics throws. Give me athletics checks. Can I? Can I do a Constitution? Nope. You can do a athletics check. <laughs> oh. Alright. Okay. They get tired. We can swap out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hilarious. So, um, Dedrick is just perfect form, but unfortunately, uh, what's his name? Ragnar just gets exhausted. Um, he tries a little too hard. That's ironic. Um, what? It's ironic. Yeah, he tries a little too hard while Dedrick kind of takes it easy, so, uh, Ragnar becomes exhausted. Um, it just means you're gonna have disadvantage on, say, uh, checks. Oh, uh, can I see he's tired? Uh, you can see he's tired, yeah. Uh, I say, uh, Ragnar, if you're tired, you can swap out with someone else. So, uh, sure. that, it would be another hour, essentially. Uh, I'll sure, take your Ragnar. Cool, but um, you guys can clearly see that the, uh, the you, you basically mined it all out. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. So the little girl, I say, what What do we take? What do we leave? How do we do this? Uh, she just jumps in. She kind of, she kind of takes a little backpack and starts shoving, uh, shoving the rock in there. Um, eventually she, her backpack's just filled with that, and she just zips it up and she just throws it to one of the goblins. Uh, Roz. Alright, so I, I say there's no more in this cave, you presume? Um, she says it might be more upstairs, but she says, yeah. it, she says it might not be worth it. Yeah, so there's no more in this cave. Alright, cool. So, um, I go up to the door, uh, uh, and I yell. I just try and yell out, Lana! I know you're in there! You hear no response. So I ask, do you know someone that's on the enemy side? Yeah. Well, I say, I, I say to Uda Fire, um, I had a vision that, uh, that I knew this girl. It was the same girl that I'm in, in my, uh, my dream, and I feel like I knew, I know her from another life. Uh, but you another don't time. Know her. But yeah, I don't I don't know her personally, but I, I feel like I I know her. So I guess everybody's in this party's crazy about dreams, huh? So yeah, do I well, see uh, the swollen eye men? Do I see Massey's men? Um you see about three of them before. And uh, I say So how do how does the Master's relationship stand with the blinking, blinding, flashing raven? Uh, Thank you, see, you, Raven. Uh, who, who's, who's saying this? Me, Vic. Okay, uh, uh, one of them kind of turns around and uh, he says, uh, well, look, we, we just want territory. And they guy stops, looks at the fire and says, didn't I capture you earlier? Okay, so I kind of stand here and I say, oh, maybe. So but take back out to the matter at hand. I think I'm my I'm like holding down Udo Fire, trying to hug him. <laughs> Cool. Dorian! U Udafire now yeah. counts as an an enemy to Udafire when it comes to target. You can't Wait, target you can't target through him, is what I'm saying. Because okay. he's purposely trying to block you. Mm -hmm. So I, I yell over for Norian like immediately and I say, you, you gotta calm down, Udafire. So that calm down? And this arrow is between his freaking head. <laughs> Yo. I just look surprised and I'm like, what the hell's going on? I say, we're gonna have to calm down Udo Fire. You see, our goblin friend here captured him earlier. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Alright. So, are, are you cool right now? I said, yeah, I'm cool. You sure? Yeah, just come to my side. You can uh, <laughs> pull me down from my side. <laughs> nah. I said, look, just, just put your bowl down, or hand it to Norian, and go get some drinks, alright? So I just sheath my bow and walk out the cave. Cool. Standing outside of it. I'm back. Uh, the hey. goblins kind of shrug. What was his problem? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, he kind of captured him earlier. Uh, he broke some ribs. He got butt raped. And he's very sad. <laughs> the kind of shrug and say, whatever. I I'm say, not that out though, but yeah. <laughs> get back to the subject at hand. So the master doesn't sit right with these uh, blinking ravens. 
Uh, which, uh, they, uh, they refused to, um, to sell us their goods. They're very yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, we, I could... well, we saw them coming in with a cart earlier, just chock full. Uh, but they, they just kind of refused to um, sell us any. Huh. Hey, uh, John, do I roll for the uh, hit die? Uh, hit dice, yes. Oh, yeah. Let me roll. Uh, everyone can hold, roll for hit dice except for Dedrick and Ragnar. 1D. Uh, you, can, you can roll as many hit dice as you want. Oh, shit. As, so... as many as you have, but remember that you don't oh, get nice. one for day. Oh, how many do you have a day? Um, You would have four. Because you're level four. Yeah. Okay, so then. You get, and you get two after a long rest. All right, so I'm back to max. All right, so I look over to these goblins. And I say, so would the master be interested in taking this cave, maybe? Um, they they kind of nod and say probably. Um, they kind of look around and say, we might might be able to just take over this part right now. Um, and that starve out. Uh, they say, yeah, that stra <laughs> that strategy works really really well. I say, well, I mean, if the master wants to set up some men. Uh, we came in here. Just, you know, investigating, and uh, we got more than we bargained for. Uh, they, they, they kind of shrug and say, sure thing. We'll, uh, we'll tell them. <coughs> yeah. All right, cool. They, uh, they say, um, yeah, uh, we were supposed to inquire about that orc. Yes, actually, we were hoping they had an orc in here, but apparently they did not. We still have an orc in mind, though, so that... They, they not say, good. Get to it. Master's getting uh, impatient. We'll and he looks and he, they, he, they start to go to leave and they say you owe him two now you got that he kind of raises two fingers two oh crap and I say well the cave I'll talk to him about it okay uh they get to about here oh fuck alright Udofar is just standing there staring into the sky so they walk past him he, he, yeah he, t he turns to you again and says two holding his two fingers up Yo, goblins have more than two fingers? I thought they had one finger. Um, well, some of them do. You can see this one is actually missed, has about two nubs on his hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Udafar, do you do anything? So I put up one finger and say, you're right, two. Uh, he puts up one finger, too. I think you know which one. <laughs> it's dumb. Alright, cool. He said, yeah, okay. Okay. Is Udafar actually not here, or is he not doing anything? He's not doing anything. Sounds like he's not here. No, he's not He's just talking. It's okay. <laughs> He's just staying quiet. He's biting his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Shit. What do you guys do? Um. Shit. So now we owe him two. I think two orcs. Two orcs should do the trick. Hey, right? we should we should discuss this one. He took like an hour to get here with five. Well, I mean, goblins. he didn't have to help us, to be honest. Yeah, but he maybe got laid here on purpose, not to help, but for us to owe him one, so. I say, um, maybe that orc hunter has a family. Hey, um, Vic, can you ask Roz how did it go with the master? What happened there? Oh, when yeah. they asked for help? So I look over to Roz and I say, the ma was the master okay with you for us asking for help? Um, he, he, he kind of shrugs and says, uh, well, he figured you owe him another one. Of course. Okay, but okay, did cool. he make um, time or he uh, just, the the yeah. goblins? You see the goblins leave, and as they do, the one of them raises two fingers. The one that captured you, he says, "You owe me two now." Shaw. Sure. He's he's talking to these guys in, inside the cave. So I come. How many goblins is it, by the way? Uh, there's four. They they and, appear to be fairly armed. And I only recognize this one, right? Yeah, you only recognize one of them. Alright, I'll let him go this time. Cool. <laughs> uh, he, he gives you a wink. Oh shit. Leaves. Wait, what? That's a wink of acceptance? You guys are becoming yeah, friends? One of them. Okay, and uh, you see him go off into the distance that way. Okay, what do you guys do? So you guys want to check out this, uh, this rock man? Well, they're not going to be getting out of that room anytime soon. Uh, what time is it, John? Um, uh, you guys... Started this early. You came in here first thing. I would say it's only probably been like an hour or two, so it'd probably be about six a p a m, maybe seven a m. Oh, well, we have a lot of hour. day left, and we haven't <laughs> we used all the spells and stuff. Um, I say, well, I mean, I'm fairly equipped, just not for anything of this magnitude. 
So you, more... mean, you mean raiding some sort of base is not something you can do easily? Send your base for us. I say we should go talk to this guy with the rock. It seems like he's being uh, held prisoner. Mm. You think? Maybe he was. Uh, they're hiding, but uh, so the door right now is closed, right? Yeah. As you yes. approach, you see that the things actually retreated and become kind of like a a small uh, entry over the door. Um. Okay. So I come up to this and I like I made a knock on it. Cool. I say, excuse me. Um. You note that going through about two feet of if it was about two feet of uh, metal or or stone, no no sound would get through. Even if I go some. Even if you go sound. Really? Hmm. Yeah. It's very. It's oh. two. It's two feet of stone, and this thing is far more than two feet. <sighs> Fuck. I can try pushing it. Again. You can try pushing it. Yeah. I mean. So you want to try? All right. Yeah. Give me some space. Yeah, uh, as you look, you can see the stone is actually interlocked onto the outer side. Hmm. Okay. So it's gonna be impossible uh, to push, pretty much. Alright, I'm gonna kick it up. I can do this. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna break your leg! <laughs> uh, give, give, give me a roll. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm give gonna me a do roll! It. <laughs> do it! Nope. Don't do it. I'm excited by the process of you hurting yourself. I'm not doing it. Um, what's it called? Uh... <laughs> Can I uh, do like a Morse code thing? Well, or... He can't hear us at all. I know, he can't hear us, no, but it's still rock. Still knock on it and it'll still make sound. Oh, I mean, you could try tapping with the uh, the mining pick. I don't think this guy is trying to harm us. And we're yeah. definitely not trying to harm him. He just probably assumes we are. So, we yeah, uh, John, can I do that? What do you want to do? You want to start knocking on it? Yeah, like a Morse code. You start knocking, you don't hear any response. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, uh, what else do you guys want to do? Fuck, there's no... Uh, was it wall made of? Is it just stone or...? Stone, yeah. Th Good. This whole place seemed to be carved out of the mountain itself. Okay. So, can I make any type of check to, uh, uh, arcana, anything from back when I was in school to see what type of people can like move earth around like this? Uh, you knew that the Tower of the Four once had uh, a bunch of, it, not once, they still have people who control the earth itself. So geomancers. Yeah, uh, yeah, essentially. Geomancers, floromancers, things like that. Fuck. There's nothing I can do to try to push it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So what should we do? Yes. Well, wait, I might have a ritual. Uh, these are slugged, right? Ah, uh, which doors? The one that everybody left through. Uh, it's not locked, it is now uh, barricaded on both sides with nails on it. Yeah, okay. Also known as Bad News Bears. So, locked, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not good position uh, to be in. Okay, so I, I don't think there is much more we can do here. Uh, I asked I asked a little girl really quick. I say, how long do you think it'd take to, uh, to maybe break through one of these rocks? I mean, through this rock or the walls with two pickaxes? Uh, she was there when Norian was attacked. Um, she had to actually jump out uh, when that happened. And uh, she says, um, I assume... Or I think that if whoever that man is has the power to grow rock, he'll just regrow it again. Yeah. Well, that's, get but that's just common sense. I should deck this guy. I really want to talk to this guy. What do you guys do? Tremenda Um, I don't know. I said, what do you guys think we should do? Look for more mithril? Uh, yeah. That's it. Let's look for treasure. Okay, let's head out. 
Uh, are there any good weapons on the dead bodies, by the way? Uh, what kind of weapon are you looking for? Uh, short sword. No. A scimitar. Uh, no. no I do think. There are large, <laughs> a, there are large axes and uh, battle axes, shields. And Ooh, I'll take a shield. I'll take a shield. I'll take as many shields as I can. Sure. Oh. Um, <laughs> you see that uh, there's. One particular shield you would probably enjoy, which is the one carried by this man here. It is okay. actually a tower shield. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Meaning you can use it for full cover as awesome. an action. Okay, one last thing. Any cracks? So, what is it? Rocks? Dorm plus, I presume? Um, uh, yeah, but I don't think you should benefit from both shields. But... Oh. Why I not? Could... Well, when you have two shields, it basically puts you back at 1d... what? 1d12 damage per turn. So I perfect. don't care about damage, as long as I get the armor class, I'm fine. That's so high. I'll give you an extra 1. I'll put you at, let you go to 21. But extra 2, 22 is just so high. <laughs> uh, what, so, ha what, what happens when you get plate mail and... Uh, that's the point. That. I, I have to exactly. go for a team. I go for a tank, not damage. <laughs> but yeah, so you now have two shields in hand. Okay. I um, am both are large items, by the way. Yeah, I can still hold them, one in each hand right now. Yeah. Oh, nice. You're going to take a Sherman, eh? Yeah, uh, so we to... Oh, yeah, John, one last thing. Is there any, like, crevices under, oh, like, the rock? I can't... It can't be a perfect cool. fit. Oh, what do you mean? Like, um... Yeah, it can. Like, little cracks where I could slide things under. Oh, um, no, it looks like it, uh, was spread into the room and then actually molded to the wall. Alright then, either way, I'm gonna come over here, uh, I'm gonna take out a piece of paper, some ink, pen, Perfect. and, uh, I'm gonna write down... <laughs> Fuck, hey, this okay. Mr. Belvedere. The, uh, the Heroes Guild was here. Awesome. Um, we didn't mean to cause any harm. We were cool. simply coming to uh, to help. You could find us around the mountains, as we will be exploring the caves and such. And I write it in Dwarvish, Elven, Goblish, and Common. Cool. And I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, try to s slide it or right, stick you, it in between a little crack or something. You just, you just kind of put it on the door and it falls off and you just kind of sigh as you walk away. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to leave it out in the open. Well, those niggas aren't getting out the room anyway. So, yeah. Cool. I... And what do you guys do? Alright, so we're gonna go um, ahead and back out to the open here. Yeah. yeah, I feel that. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you get John, any help from that short rest or no? Um, anyone who rested would. would they, they get to spend as many uh, D's as they like. Or uh, hard dice. That's what I really like. Yeah, uh, John, can you remove the uh, turn order too? Oh, sure. Move a little bit. Thank you. Uh, uh, gotta find the map and turn fog off. Uh, fog off. Yeah, what do you guys want to do? I say let's go to the cave that's uh, south. It's the only oh, one we didn't which see. Which one was the cave that I was dragged into? Um, this this the one, one the one you were just came out of. No, not the one I was came out of. The one it was this one that I was originally dragged into earlier. Oh, somebody tried to drag you in. Yes, but they but they never actually made it. Uh. You, you you got you got to about like, there. Then then you got attacked by them and it's. Wait. Not that. No, I meant the other guys, the ravens. Oh, the ravens? Yeah, this, this, these are the ravens. They tracked you in here. Oh, into that cave. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right. In which case, if you have extra knowledge, you should probably tell a team, but, uh... See, so what do you guys want to do? Dedrick Spider Bitten Man. Um, Dedrick, roll me a constitution saving throw. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, the mithril's in the backpack, uh, on one of the goblins. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot. 
All right. So I look at the little girl. Where else can there be oh, some man. metro? Oh, crit. Um, so that, that, plus, be plus, that plus 33 plus three. is going to be minus 33. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you start vomiting due to all the spider bites. <laughs> I'm sure it was plus three. <laughs> yeah, plus three. Yeah. Uh, so we guys, what do you... Uh, I asked the little girl where to next. Uh, she kind of shrugs. She says uh, most of these places will have metro line, or could have metro line. Once again, hey, that, um, one, that one was just pretty much luck. Uh, yeah. Hey, so let's I, go down to the uh, only cave we can see here. Yeah, I was just about to suggest that. Right Alright, cool. Yeah, that one. Cool. Sigh. Oh, another thing. You going with him, Dedra? Yeah. I can't hear you, buddy. Yeah, oh, you're yeah. getting stuck. You're like breaking up a little bit. Uh, hello? Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Alright, cool. So, Nori and Ragnar take the lead? Uh, you guys uh, look inside. Sure. But um, I want some it's, it's about dawn by this point, so you can, um,. You can clearly see now, but uh, a little bit of low light goes inside, and you see there's actually no door. Uh, but you do see smoke coming, coming basically out into here. Uh, it's kind of it's hugging onto the roof. Huh. That's always a good sign. Okay. Um. Hey, okay. I hit him. Uh. Cooking. Yeah, I will cover my uh, <gasps> nose and stuff with part of the uh, winter clothes. Uh, do we smell anything burning? Uh, it does. It smells like firewood. Firewood, okay. No, as well as uh, some meat. Oh, I throw up a light on my hat. Cool. Uh, so you guys are being lit by him. So this time, where Ragnar is stopped by this thing. It appears to be some that? some sort of Neanderthal. Oh. I Ooh. try talking to it. It's probably retarded. <laughs> so I look at it and say, "Hooga booga, where the white women at?" Did they reply? Uh, they, they see them. They see them grip tightly onto their act. Their uh, hammers, or yeah, pretty much hammers, as they basically so throw up like peace signs and waves saying no, stuff like that. Yeah, they seem very prepared to fight, and this one's kind of continue pushing. I say they're probably territorial, so we should back okay, off. Okay, back off then, everyone. Yeah. I said even when if there's mithril in here. Well, for now. What are the hammers made of? Ragnar, you have. Uh, it appears to be just stone and and um, what's the word? What? Uh, uh, okay. So I, can I go? Uh, with, uh, Ragnar, you want, you want to try to back off, or this guy will? He looks like he's going to push you. Uh, I'm just going to try and back off. Noreen, can you back off? Yep. Yeah. Fine. Um, we'll yeah. So I do an intelligence check to see if these people are any like, if there's any way of communicating with them. Um, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, can I uh, cast charm person on the guy up front? Sure. No uh, that wisdom saving throw. Okay. Right. Damn, that's a uh, lot of them. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you, he, he seems friendly now. Okay. Um, I I get into the front of the group and I just start um, hand singling him, saying we we come in peace and we don't want to. What exactly say. symbol do you do? Oh. Um, where you put your two fingers together and you split them out. <laughs> you put all your fingers together and you separate your your ring finger and your middle finger. Um. Um, I gave him a thumbs track. up. Uh, you see the one kind of look back towards the other one, and they kind of do that same kind of symbol you do with their hands. So I start nodding, say, yeah, yeah. Anybody have food? Um, oh, I do. I, uh, oh, I do. Um, I give him a piece of bread that I picked up earlier from the table. Uh, this guy kind of pushes you back, Debra. Okay. 
I put my hands up like I'm surrendering, and I just like go. Whoa, he, he, hold on. He kind of pushes you back again, though. <laughs> okay. So what are these exactly? Uh, they, they appear to be Neanderthals. They're 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 kind of like monkeys and mammoths. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go over and try animal handling on them because they do not seem that intelligent. Oh my god. Oh god. Mm. So I'm get a piece of the ration from my bag and offer it as food to try to calm them down. Well, cool. to show that we're peaceful. Sounds this good. nigga just move a tree. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're strong guys. Uh, they're, they're definitely surrounding us, so let's kill them. Uh, well, I'm trying no. to animal uh, Can I take a temp at it? You can sure try. Yo, uh, I'm definitely not going to let them move in this close. Well, there you have. I'm gonna like mage hand palm him in the face as he tries to oh. approach me. Sounds like sounds like you're one of the roll initiative if you're attacking. No, I'm <laughs> no. rolling animal handling. Cool. Um, these guys are a little too intelligent to be animal handled. They're like in <coughs> the no man's land of intelligence. Son of a bitch. Too too low to talk. Too high to animal handle. Uh. Jeez. Can I charm first into the next guy? Like, no, they're, they're, that's not working. I um, said, fuck uh, it, put him up. We got, no, got surrounded. No, um, just before you attack, uh, I want to cast uh, Thaumaturgy on him. So, like, oh. I basically start uh, glowing and my eyes turn white. And uh, my voice becomes louder. Wait, I say don't try to scare them. Wait, they're stupid. <laughs> Um, you can see these guys grip their weapons, uh, tighter. Yeah. Okay. I think, Vic, you should try to do some press yeah. station. So Just... I, uh, minor illusion ghost sound. I don't know. It's a natural predator in Neanderthals. What? Why are you trying to kill them? <laughs> <laughs> so I whisper to them, try to impress them. Show them a little fancy manner. You're good at that. Albert. So <clears throat> Albert. All right, fuck it. So I throw, like, fireworks and... Snapples and crackles and pops into the air, trying to make it look all fancy using nice bright reds and dark blues. Cool. Um, so lights start flying into the air. They're like, ooh. Yeah. Oh my god, the second you said that, my lights start flickering. <laughs> yeah. That was creepy. So they what say, the ooh. Heck? Yeah, so they kind of give it, ooh. Fuck. I don't know. I do it again, and <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Minor yeah. image, uh, <laughs> the image of a happy Neanderthal, and just like, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> yo, they're all. You know. see them all smile as they start to retreat in their cave. <sighs> okay, good, good. Okay, good. Progress. Hey, I give Udo Fire a pat on the back. Mm -hmm. I say, you deserve a special type of die. Yeah. <laughs> special <laughs> type of die. <laughs> yes. Injury die. <laughs> <laughs> I said, at this wow. point, you, you hear a noise from above. It sounds like that, like the coo of a dove. Oh, go, God. Oh, God. Exactly. I look at you and hit you on the side and say, shh. I look up. Do we see anything? Uh, you look up and you see it looks like birds. Oh, looks God. Like, looks like large birds seem to be circling your location. I Wait. say, get ready to fight those okay, what? birds. Go into the cave, then. No, no we, we try to. I say better. Fights. Yeah, that'd be two fight. We're out in the open. Uh, how many looks like there's up there? It uh, looks like there's many of them as there is of you. Mm. Fuck. So so like, start do firework. they look like vultures and shit? I say. Um, well, as you as you come down, uh, you start to hear them sound like vultures, but you see one actually land right here. Oh my god, it's a harpy lady. She right, she, she, she what the fuck? Uh, that I were against. A whole mess of them. <coughs> this is birds, so right? Vic and ass, have you ever been raped? Twice. Well, after these things Seriously. are done, it's three times. John, bringing out the rape harpies. Hmm. All right, that's cool. Oh uh, yeah, the, re got the rest kind of um kind of stay in the sky. Uh, this one kind of stands there with that kind of. Frown on face. So I, right. I try to talk to it? No. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna try uh, animal handling right after he fails on talking to it. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> throw peace signs. Do some fire no. Uh I'm just gonna try talking to it in five different languages, see if it replies to me in any. 
I say hello, 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 hello. Oh, um, I actually have a uh, speak with animals. I use that. You try. Uh, it might not be an animal. Let me do animal handling first. So wait, I tried talking spell. to it and it didn't, got it. it didn't reply? What's that? I tried talking to it and it didn't reply to me? No. Alright, so I'm gonna it's try- It's just kinda- it kinda- kind of, it kind of is giving you the stern look. So mm. I- my vulture comes out on my arm, and I'm gonna try to animal handling. Like showing, oh look, another one of you. Or it's sort of like that, you know? So you're gonna insult them now? No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just like showing the vulture, like, it's a vulture right here. So let me try that D20 plus 5. Oh. Nope, that doesn't work. Kill your vulture, they clunk, become- Clunk, 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 clunk. Okay. I- I, I say- No, whoa, whoa, I said whoa, 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 before we- Like, we get into I anything I say just here. get ready to fight. Okay. I say, <laughs> I talked to the uh, the head harpy. You, you see her, uh, she's currently standing on a tree. You see the rest kind of jump out of the way. Uh, she kind of looks at you and she looks up to the uh, up to the top of the hill. You see her kind of jump off and then she flies back up there. What the fuck did you do, Ruben? I I don't know. I just tried talking to her. Um, there might be other bigger birds coming in, so we should probably yeah. look. Fuck, we're gonna have to fight these Neanderthals. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. There's Mithril, man. Wait, we look around. Is there anything else? We look. Uh, uh, the girl. The girl says uh, she didn't get a good look with the Mike and Mithril. Man. I said, oh. why don't you just do your press dissertation and just walk in and distract them while we look if there's Mithril in here. Actually, okay, so I'd have to throw up a fucking spectacle. Hold on. Yeah, go for go, it. If we walk in there with fire, there'd be. No, they were out. just amazed by it. They liked it. Maybe they want more. Fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. Not Which also fire. called the harpies. Oh. Yeah, but if I do it inside a cave, they won't be able to see it. Yeah. Oh. Might cause some fires, though. Just have fire then. Press In a cave? Those fires? Just no. keep going. What do you guys want to do? <sighs> I'd say Fuck go me. for it. Fuck it. I'll try to distract them. Uh, Noreen, I want you to stay by my side, though, just in case shit gets dirty. And I'll stay right outside to fire at one. How about that? Shall I also go in there since, you know... Yeah, some of you have to prospect and look around. Uh, I'll go. Okay. So I go ahead and take... Norian should go too as well. I'll stay outside with Udo. Yeah, uh, and I'm assuming the camera has a light on his hat. Yep. We're cool. You enter in. Go ahead. Uh, wait, let me... Give me fucking one second. So, Derek, are you gonna go first or shall I go first? Uh, I'll go first. Or you guys would go on top of each other. Oh uh, yeah, wait, give me one. <laughs> I picked Ragnar. Hey, I got a tower shield finally, so tank mode. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually do that. <laughs> okay, hop on his back and be like, let's go. All right, cool. Uh, I go in. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so. Uh... Let us go oh. first, though. Okay. Okay. So I get right about here. Cool. Um. Yo, that one looks like it has shit on. Mm. Okay. So I start swirling around like a ballerina, throwing up fireworks, <laughs> making faint musical notes that are beautiful, throwing delicious odors in the air, etc., etc. <laughs> While the rest of the party takes the cue, do we start examining the cave? Yeah, don't work. Yeah. I'm gonna move. Uh, you see him grab on the camera and start dragging. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God. Oh, wait, there's a light on my head. Come yep. on. They, throw, they, they can see that light slowly fade in the distance. Can I see what's going on, though? Sure, sure. Uh, you see so yourself you being dragged down a long cave. Yeah, you guys don't follow. You I immediately <laughs> start following. So, so I keep playing the music so a little nice. bit louder and louder so they could hear me. Sure, sure. And I, uh, I, can, I can still see. Following. And I throw sparkles their way and shit to try to get so, their attention. Ah, this is how you get raped. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Not good place to be. Guarantee you that. Oh. Uh, Ragnar. Yes. Can you come in for me. Yeah, where's Norian? Uh, I, can I see you more? Thank Norm's you. Outside. Yeah, Norm yeah. was supposed to be next to me like this entire time. Still throwing up sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah, 
Yes. Did, did he stop moving or? So uh, then with my, they're still, they're still moving. So oh. with my wand, I put like puffs on other feet. Keep them all entertained, you know. Sure. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm I here. just see. It. it seems like we're gonna get go deeper and deeper and finding more and more of them. So. Are they trying to divide us up. Yeah, these ones seem to be stopping, Ruben. <laughs> Yo, why did Norian not stay next to me? Is he okay? Uh, I'm still with him. I'm, I'm actually here. <laughs> yeah, and these guys kind of these guys kind of separate you over here. Okay. Norian, you're supposed to be next to me. <laughs> yeah, am I there or not? I'm sorry, guys. I had to go for a second. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. So what do you mean by separate? They're just standing in they're the just, They're standing there and they're kind of they're kind of stopping you from doing a movement. Can I? All right. Can I use charm person on this guy to let us do like let us through? You can try. Alright, uh, wisdom So saving. I try to get on my feet now and keep spinning and shit. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Uh, they kinda let you go, but you, they don't let you go past them. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And you start spinning and throwing shit. Uh, can, I, can I just examine the cave for any mithril? Yeah, um, I shoot sure. more sparks the, the girl kinda looks around, she says there, there might be some down uh, a different way. She knows okay, so way. nothing down here. Okay. She, she shakes her head. Right, so, so I start uh, eating a few of my, uh, just snacking on my rations in front of these things. Cool. Uh, um, I shoot some sparks over here. here to try to get these guys' attention. Cool. Uh, you, see, you see one or two luck. And then I like motion at them and try to like, <laughs> I, I motion them to come over here as I like blow a cooling breeze at them and shit. I don't know. The fuck do monkeys like? I see, I show, I like move around and show them that I have fleas so they want to eat. <laughs> they can feel free to. You, you see them pick a flea off and eat it. <laughs> oh yeah, they or eat fleas. Hey. Sick. Yeah. So they don't do the same to me? No. Nah, fuck you, they, they do it to me. Dang it. <laughs> Alright. This is where you guys uh, make your move. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh. Could I? Hold on. Do I have it? I think I could disguise myself as Vic. <laughs> we start confusing the fuck out of that. <laughs> I want to do that. Oh, oh, like... Whisper, remember our goal, just to see if there's any mithril in this cave. Well, as long as they're confused and they're just John, what's around. over here? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, uh, do you have a light on you? Uh, I I'll cast a <coughs> light on my mace. You see that? Yeah. So, I make a small little shiny object appear, because I know Neanderthals like shiny little objects. Sure. Do they start going cray cray? Not really. Fuck, what do these guys like? Are we going in or are we... <gasps> Okay, the entire like... time that I've been here, have I seen any Neanderthals? Hey, come on, Norian. Women? Come over here. Uh, do you see any what? Any, uh, women. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so you see all the ones who kind of look slightly different, uh, are the women. Damn. You really thought that'd work? Yo, Neanderthals are crazy for some to say. Alright, so can I get through these people or no? Uh, no, they're blood blocking you. Mm. I try talking to them in Norvish, why not? John, why you do this? Uh, cause, gonna... of, cause I hate you guys and I want you to die. Yeah, they're I not, could've... They're not a t uh, aggressive. Yeah, well, you could have gave it to him, at least he said. What happens uh... when I... What happens when I try to leave? Um, they they don't let you. They kind of push you around. Ooh, what's that? Oh, here? What's that? Uh, you look down. You see, it appears to be a small uh, uh fur skin with a bunch of treasures on it. Okay. Treasures. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Um, take a good look. Dedrick, try uh, give them. This guy oh. grabs you and he, he shakes his head as you kind of as, as you try to pass him. You try to get close. Okay, okay stop right yeah, there, but I want to take it. Uh, look, see if I can get a little. Uh, so, you know. Inside no, they, 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 they hold you where you are. What, what's over here then? Uh, oh, uh, that's that's uh, just a wide in the back. Oh, okay, okay. So I look at all these guys and I start shaking my head up and down and like just starting to break into some sort of ritual dance. <laughs> and I make uh, drum noises. Please work. Okay. Okay. Can we go back through them? Uh, no. They oh. appear to be stopping you. Hmm. Yeah, but. <coughs> okay. Actually, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. What do you guys do? 
Um, actually, I'm gonna take out my flute and start playing music. Maybe, maybe they like music. Or give maybe me a, they give me, a, give me a performance roll. Oh, fun! Wow, I think I that's think... the first. Wow, okay, that's not that bad. Uh, they're gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> RP die. <Wow. laughs> RP die. I'm gonna RP die that. Sure. Yeah, you need a four. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yes. Got it. They consider not killing you. You see, <laughs> you see a couple of them tapping their toes. So I mask his horrible flute with more horrible. beautiful sounds. <laughs> so what what am I noticing of these guys? What do they like the most? Because I'm trying like an array of everything. Um, Look they at, seem they seem to like all the objects on you. All the objects on me. So yeah. they want me to get butt ass naked and take my objects off. They they nod. Can we okay. see? Sorry. <laughs> Can I see what's on on this? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. You, you look on there and you can see this. There appears to be a uh, like a wooden shield, but it's made of kind of like a dark wood. Um, you look and you see there appears to be a, a harness on there, uh, but it doesn't look like yours. It looks like a different kind, it's maybe a better one. Uh, you see that there's a bag of something, a large scythe, and just a butt ton of copper. So I take out my bow, a butt ton of copper, hmm. copper coin. Yeah. So I take out my bow, my short bow. Uh, and they, like, take, they take it as a fence and they attack. Wait, I was giving it to them. I just oh, drop it next to them. Sweet. Then this guy grabs it and he, he goes off for it. Wait, doesn't he want to know how to use it? <laughs> um, you see him. You see him start. Uh, Shaw, start Shaw, basically they're... ripping it apart. So I look at Udo Fire and I say, "They're fucking kleptos." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, um, she, she she breaks it apart and throws it into the small fire. So I get my, my my one silver coin and I toss it like in the air, kind of this way. Cool. Uh, you see this one come over and grab it. Yo, it's a woman. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fuck. She's quite happy to have it too. Uh, you see these guys start rifling through your pockets. I got nothing in my pockets. Uh, you have nothing in your pockets? Well, I will be the judge of that. I uh, legit have <laughs> nothing in my pockets. Pockets includes your backpack. I don't have a backpack. Oh, then um, let me see what you have. Uh, they they take a sack of um, black wood off you, as well as your six silver pieces in your pouch. I have six um, silver pieces. <laughs> you, your your pouch of um of residual they take off. All you. right, all right, all right, all right. At that point, I like sparkle <laughs> on the side of them, and like twirl the fuck away. Um. Okay. You can give me some sort of you I said, guys, we gotta do something. Okay. Sounds like, uh, sounds like, sounds like you're about to hear uh, attacks coming from down the hallway. Mm. Yeah, Ruben and I are gonna try to knock them out. So do I okay. dex? Do I dex to try to break away? Um, I'm gonna. You can try before they before they start taking shit. All right. So with the sheer amount of them, I'm just gonna roll initiative for two for the men and the females. Well, I'm not trying to fight. I just want to gracefully get the fuck away from them so they don't sure. take my stuff. Yeah, we should have really fought in that tunnel. <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, manual's 10 for it. Ooh, these, these oh. guys have big great clubs. The cape is oh, plus uh, 5, right? Yes. I get plus right oh, we're all rolling for initiative? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming we're, we guys are all attacking. Or at least you would hear battle come from down here and then... Yeah, the moment I hear that, I'm going to shank this one who has exactly. in front of me. <laughs> without a doubt in my mind. Before they even get a chance to draw their weapons. Can we get, can their we weapons get are already out. So. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, when my... Oh, I'll wait for my turn. <coughs> so we get to jump on them pretty much, right? Um, they get yeah. jump on... No, you're not going to jump on them. Can I say they, that they're as uh, ready to attack as you are? Orient. Well, I mean, are they gonna Orient attack me? Um, definitely. I look beautiful though. What was that? They seem to not care. Really? Fifteen. Fifteen. Hey, yeah, Udafire, do you want to just hop up to my shoulders so you have some height advantage? Um, What's that? Like? I I say try it, please. You you uh, too, Ragnar and Udafire, like help out big. Good call. Uh, 
Okay. How the fuck did we get into the situation? Yeah, you... Bad planning. Yeah. Shaw. Sure. Um, the, the little girl kind of points up to the roof here, and she says, I think there's mithril above us, and she looks up and you can see a, a glint of mithril. How the heck yes. are we going to get mithril up there? Great. Okay. She shrugs. Ah, uh, Ruben, you're first. Time. I tell her, now it's not the time for this. So we knock them all out. Mm, you wish. <laughs> Uh, an 18 is going to hit. They do not. They are not armored at all. Unless you could do a cloud. Oh my god. Um. However. Um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Uh. You get. Uh. You have four points of damage on. Hold on. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Norian. Me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Little girl on top. She's natural 20. She hits one in the eye for three damage. Wow. Cool. Uh. Ruben, you're trying to kill him or just knock him out? Well. Uh, so, yeah, knock him out. Um, okay, um... That's two hits. And how much would it be for the uh, knocking out? For the what? You know, to hit them with a blunt edge or something. Oh, um, for what kind of weapon are you using? Uh, both. Of what? Both. Oh, you're using, okay, you're using two small weapons. Um, it would be about one damage plus your strength. Uh, okay, that's a uh, four each. Cool. Uh, so eight damage. Uh, that's if you hit. Uh, Eighteen mm -hmm. hits. You have to roll again. Roll again? Why? Yeah, for the other hand. Two hands. Right? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, both hit. Uh, you hit. You plunk them in the head a bunch with the with the, the back ends of your weapons. Uh, okay. Vic Hamros, you hear battle going on down there, and you see all these guys kind of here too. Uh, so I'm gonna guess my dancing techniques are no longer uh beautiful. Yeah, no longer. I'm sure is the word. Jesus, I don't want to use my last <laughs> level. I rested for a level two spell now. Okay. All right, so if I go invisible, I can run past all these guys right without them noticing. Um, if you can go that distance, um... Well, I mean, I plan one, on hustling. Two, three. Well, you can't hustle because you're using an action. Oh, I guess, you can get, how long can you be invisible for? A minute? Uh, it is an hour. Okay, cool. Uh, so you you could basically, you could just leave if you want to. Be invisible yeah. and just leave. <laughs> but, um, note that you can only go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have to go one, two, three, four, and then on your next turn. So I can't do hustle on my... On one turn. Ah, uh, you can't. Well, yeah, I hustle is an action, remember. Mm. So invisibility. Shit. Yeah. Um. Ooh, these guys get all getting. Angry. I love that shit, dude. Um, all these guys. Um, they don't. Actually, where, where do you move? Do you do, do you move somewhere? Uh, what do you mean? Do I like when just, I go invisible? Just, just, yeah. Do you do your movement like you would normally? Okay. Can you start going invisible? I would probably go up to this corner. Cool. Um, so these truggets all here, they swing wildly in the center between themselves. <laughs> Yo, they all knock each other out. <laughs> um, no, they're swinging at the empty air. All missing. Why would you even roll? <laughs> <laughs> For fun. Um, yep, so you're invisible over in the corner there. Um, these ones over here, they're going to try to slice at Uda, or bash with the fire. And Dedrick and all that. Uh, one on Ragnar. One on Ufar. <laughs> um, that, it looks like you just went prone in addition to, um, what's the word? This went prone in addition to taking extra 1D thing. Wait, did, uh, was that D20 for me or for Ufar? That's what Ufar. Okay, um, so as they cut, they kind of smash from the back of the leg, and as you go down, he strikes at you in the chest for wow every time. Two <laughs> points of damage. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, my... yeah. <coughs> right into your stomach with this large club. Um mm. two attack um you there, Dedrick. Wow, another twenty. Yeah. Um this one's going to attempt to break your git box or your flute. No. Um <laughs> give me a constitution saving throw. Go. Oh, no. oh, I thought that was you. No, no, that's two damage. 
Oh. Okay. So your 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 flute managed. You managed to hold on to your flute, essentially. Um, and down here, you also are attacked. Um, uh, one on Norian and one on Ruben. Ruben's in this. Yeah, I like the music for this too. Yeah, right. Sounds like little monkeys. <laughs> You should put the song from Rise of the Apes. Uh, two damage for Norian. Oh, I'll uh, use the, uh, fencing mask. Uh, Ragnar, how much health do you usually have? Um, 36. Okay, about 36 or 40? 36. Okay, and did you... No, it's not Ragnar that's the one it's that. It's Norian. Norian's the one, yeah. He's the one, he's the one with 30 health right now. Yeah, I have 40 total, now it's down to 30. Uh, yeah. 27 right now, but I use fencing master, so that doesn't get... Yeah, yeah, cool, sounds good. Um, Troglodytes... Um, yep, looks like that's for everyone. Uh, Desiree. I was going to so go non-lethal, but after what he just tried to do... I'm gonna go Thunder Wave. <laughs> right here. Cool, give me a roll. No, I'll give you a roll. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, last one saves. Okay, uh, the t these two girls kind of back off. The other ones get launched back, knocked prone, and not damage. Damage. Two D eight. This thunderous it... clap goes out. Do I scare them all? Um, you do scale them. In fact, you. You basically uh, hear them all kind of chant out a little bit, kind of like do a battle cry. And uh, you see this kind of nauseous gas seem to come from out of their armpits. Ooh! Um, they just farted? Um, <laughs> from out their armpits. Um, does, every, it, uh, armpit does it affect fart? my yeah. spiders and my it fleas? It if everything on you, all your fleas are now gone. They're all dead. Yeah! Yeah, all no, your does that include are, me? That includes <laughs> anyone who's in, within five feet of these guys. Oh, However, nice. okay. in addition to being five feet of these guys, you all have disadvantages on all attacks and saves due to the stink that's uh, surrounding you. Can we save from the stink? Or no? uh, I don't think you can. Does just, disease all, count? All, you, all you can do is just get away. Unless you are a dwarf, I will allow you to um, roll a save on it. Yeah, because, yeah, you have, okay. because it's poisonous. Awesome, okay. Um, so, so Dedrick, no that was your. Th uh, what do you want to do, Dedrick? I'm going to. Oh, you just did Thunder Wave, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you yeah, want to yeah. stand up too? Yep. Cool, you stand up. Uh, Norian. Wait, aren't his fleas cool. gone? Yes, his yeah. fleas are gone. Okay. All right, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll remove them. Oh. oh, that means that I'm no longer. Crap. Special. No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit the guy in front of me. Alright, we're good. Go just cool. ice him. Um, both low. Uh, with the second one hits, uh, so ten damage. Yeah. Nice. Sick. With your glowing magical sword, you chop his right arm off. He kind of oh, crawls God. to the back, bleeding horribly, screaming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fire. All right. So this is with the one in front of me. Short sword first. Okay, sure. Uh, that's um, not gonna miss. Also, you're on the ground, so you have disadvantage. You have to stand up, which you, I assume you do. Yeah, my bad. I'd have disadvantage either way from the smell, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, didn't right, you so send that to uh, Dedrick? Meh. And that's the dagger doing six damage to the one in front of me. Cool. <coughs> damage. Sweet. <coughs> um, they have the troglodytes. Um, they're gonna get up. And charge in. Uh, this one he's gonna invoke attack of opportunity from Dedrick. Lock them. I am Wait, which one? Uh, this one right here. One of the females. Can I, uh, kick him? Like, up against the wall? Uh, sure. You can try to kick him. Give me attack uh, him. Oh, shit. I'll, I'll say you managed to hit him. Okay. So, uh, oh, yeah, damage. Um, but they are, however, going to all try to trip the team you. Oh god. Oh. Uh, so that's one attack. Two attack. Three attack. Uh, only one of them hit my AC. Well, that's eight points of damage that slams this large thing. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, these guys have advantage because you're on the ground. What? No, I got <laughs> up though. Did you? Oh, that's right, you did get up. You yeah, gotta, remove the red you dots. You gotta remove your red dots, man. Red dots are bad. Okay. Um, yeah, these guys are all kind of like, where's, where'd that one guy go? 
and all <laughs> around. <laughs> They'll say, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, oh, so many monkeys. Yeah, a lot of monkey men. Uh, so right now, you're out. Um... Hmm. Shield bash the guy in front of me, why not, with both of my shields. Sweet. Start swinging your shields wildly. Oh yeah, yeah, proficiency with shields, I gotta remember that. Yep. Nice. It's, uh, 12 to hit. That's gonna hit too. Okay. So, what, uh, both of them are roll, uh, d6s, yep. I presume? So roll, roll 2d6 plus 1 of your strength. Oh, right, cool. So you deal six damage to this guy as you bash him for some shield. Um, Ruben. So, uh, I hit the guy in front of me. Cool. Just gonna hit. So, will it do enough damage? Five damage, cool. Uh, big cam, bro. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle my beautiful ass all over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Would you move in six? Yeah. Okay, you can move here maximum. Shit. Uh, even with hustle? Um, oh, you can use your hustle, but that would take your action for turn. That'd take my action away. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And. Cool. <laughs> Uh, and yeah. Trogdice. Uh, I assume you're gonna still be invisible. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, Trogdice. <laughs> um, this one here is going to try to grab Ragnar. Uh, eleven against your thing, Ragnar. Uh, you have disadvantage on. So that would be plus strength, I presume. Yeah, strength. Mm. Already a failure. So um, you're grabbed. He's going to try to grab you and maneuver you into a position where more enemies get attacked. Okay. And uh, as it does so, these guys kind of jump on to that. Uh, you're currently grabbed and you're stink. Not a good situation to be in. Uh, you can be attacked by one monkey, two monkey, three monkey. Four. He stands on the fire because he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. Uh, the, the fire's not very high anyway. It's not very, not very. It well seems lit. racist to call him monkey. I prefer the term prehistoric ancient Homo sapiens. Okay. Um. So this monkey, he's going to, uh, uh, he's going to disengage and move back. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> uh, I did you guys can help us. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to call Sphere, 10 feet. Around. Perfect, give me a roll. Wait, uh, uh, what uh, did you do, uh, Ruben? Uh, they roll, uh, what is it? Wisdom? Wisdom? Yeah, wisdom. Uh, what did you do on your turn? Wow. I got rolled a zero? Yeah, it's funny oh, that can happen. Got a um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did the guy with the zero get a heart attack or something? Fail, fail, fail. <laughs> oh, they it all dies. failed. Um, so yeah, all these guys basically, um, they're, they're either going to run away, or they're going to stay where they are and cower. Cower. I like these guys. I'm like a god among them. <laughs> Make them cower. <laughs> uh, it's not really a choice. It's just, uh, if, if they're within attack of opportunity range, they're going to, um, just cower for now and then kind sure? of get out later. Oh. Hey, uh, Norian. Okay, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll get over here and I'm gonna hit him. Ooh, give me a roll. Give me a roll. Uh, 11 AC. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's it. 10 damage. Uh, nice, you slice him in two. Blah. Oh. Um, with the fire. Alright. All the greens are counting in fear, right? Ah, uh, yes. So can I move through them or no? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. I just wanted to know. So I'm gonna come over here, draw my longbow, and attack this one. Sweet. Um, that one. Sure. Why not? Wait, what's wrong with that one? Oh, just uh, just because there's a guy in the way, but he's cowering. So whatever. Okay. 
So, wow, what happened to my bow? All right, oh, so... remember your bow? Your bow got destroyed. No, this is my long bow, though. Oh, you had two. Oh, you had two bows on you. Yeah. Cool. Because, uh, thanks to Vic. Nice. You're welcome. I'm a messenger. Mm. Cool. Um. I drew roll two. Because oh, I got okay. disadvantage because of sm uh, smell. So eight damage on him. Nice. Uh, it kind of goes in, digs deep into his peck. Or it's it's a, pack. More like a breast, I suppose. Uh, this one gets to here. Uh, this one's going to get to right there. And it looks like uh, two are going to attack Rudolf Fire. Neither has have advantage. Uh, 18 hits. 18 hits, yep. Uh, 10 points of damage. Wow. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, yep, yeah, and it looks like two are going to attack um, Dedrick. One has advantage. Uh, natural 20. Oh, God. And then a second one. Oh, by the way, for crits now, I'm doing, um... I'm doing now the, the, the new system, which is you roll... What's the word? It basically just... You just, you just roll your die as normal, basically, and then... Yeah. So so instead... So he's going to use his uh, thing. He has seven points. So he's going to use it to get another thing. So he's going to roll 2d10. Uh, it's just simple enough. 12 damage to you, Derek. And so wait, what, what, what's the difference with the crit now? Uh, yeah. Basically, instead of, instead of doing max damage, you just roll your die as normal, and then you get to roll your uh, stunt die. Mm. Instead of doing full damage. Mm. And so far, it's working out pretty well for you guys, because yeah. I've been critting a lot. Um, Dragnar. Uh, shield bash the guy in front of me again, why not? Or, actually, uh, the, the guy with the green dot. Or actually, yeah, the guy in front of me. Guy in front sure. Of me. Give me a roll. You have disadvantage. That's a miss. Okay, so I. I don't roll have again, again, you might get a one. Oh, pff, that's encouraging. Okay. Um, say you miss. Wait, uh, I do, do have I do have two attacks. Wouldn't I do that twice more again then? You have two attacks. Two shields. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, do it again. No, oh, come on, slash. Failure. Okay, yeah, so yep, that one's a miss. Oh, one more time. Somebody might break something. Cool. Ah, oh, the, the cameras. Oh, oh you, you skipped me. Ah, uh, Ruben. Um, so I go here and I take my and use my action to move again. Cool. Your turn. Two, three, four, six over here. Yeah. Um, Troglodytes, the males. Ooh, this is gonna be, we're gonna be pretty. Um, Ragnar, you attack twice with advantage. Oh, wow. Statistically oh, improbable. Wait, um, you, miss, you miss Vic's turn. Yeah. Oh, mother effort. Vic, go. Okay. <laughs> so if I appear right here behind them, would they notice me? Right here? Um, well, they're on their butts anyway, so. But yeah, probably. They would notice me? Uh, yeah, they, they, they hear footprints coming from over here. So they look behind them. Even the ones that are cowering? Um, yep. Alright, so fuck that. Cowering means they're very attentive and scared for things around them. Doesn't mean they'll respond to you. Fuck it, my last blow of the day, burning hands. Sweet. All four of these. Um, well, how at last goes one. Uh, if you stood right here, this would hurt. Yeah, because then we go one, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. Cool. Uh, give me a roll. Damage wise. Uh, well, these guys are going to try to jump out of the way. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh. Looks like two passes. Shit. That is terrible. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, you fail. You fail. And you fail. And you pass from you take two. And you pass from you take two. That's not Okay, so, uh, trouble this. Yeah, what's up? Wait, can I, uh, disengage and book? You can just move, yeah. Oh, okay. So, fucking one, two, three, four. Ruben! Oh my god. <laughs> I, I can move a little more if you can, so I can save you. We found some loot. What was that, Nori? 
Uh, to stuff. move an extra square somewhere, so I can stand there and hit them with longbow. Uh, five, oh, six. Okay. All right, there. Sure That's all my movement. Cool. Okay. Uh, this guy is going to stand up, as well as this guy is going to stand up and run one, two, three, four, five. Oh God, he's gonna warn the others. This There's guy others? is going to move. One, two, three. But most you can do after standing up. <coughs> um, so yeah, once again, uh, Ragnar, one guy's attacking you with advantage. Got 22. The other guy's attacking you with advantage. He's gonna miss. Uh, one guy's attacking you with normal. One guy's attacking you with normal. Unless one hit, one d10 damage. You take 8 points of damage. Okay. Um, yep, uh, dead drift. Cedric. Cedric? Mm. Mike, hello. Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to look up a spell and I can't find it in the PDF. Huh? Yeah, we can understand shit you're saying. Uh, oh, what? Well, I don't know what you're doing, but you should always be doing it. Hello? There we go. Okay, um. Crap, forgot my train of thought. Uh, I was gonna cast a spell. Uh, what was it? What was it? Oh, yeah. Fairy fire? I'm gonna cast that on uh, everyone. 50 feet. And Oh, no, 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 never mind. Hold on. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay, no. so on a 10 feet radius. So, um, any creature within a 10 feet radius casts a dexterity saving throw. On the uh, fairy fire spell. Oh okay, yeah, a ten feet radius of yourself. Yeah. Cool. Um, so they're gonna try to deck save, which they're good at. One, two, three, four, five. Um, looks like most of them failed. Yeah. Only I'm one of them passed. I'm assuming you can you plot your flute to do this. Yep. Well, a lightning bolt will symbolize that. And what is its effect? Um, you have advantage on attacking him. So, oh. uh, means you just don't have disadvantage anymore. Awesome. Yeah, uh, Dedrick, Norian. Okay, I'll get Norian. Norian, save here. me, buddy! <laughs> cool, you get to there. And I'm gonna shoot this guy with the longbow. Sounds good. You do not have disadvantage because you're not close enough. Uh, but you will yeah. miss. So bad. Whoa, okay. good fire. All right, let's do this. I'm going to do. do. You Your think day. he's gonna warn? I'm worried about the one that's gonna try to warn. Yeah, the you could put a fucking arrow in his ass. That'd be nice. I could. Would I take an opportunity attack from this dude? Um. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, right, I was so Looks like I cannot. So I'm just gonna focus. Wait, my wait what's your range on your bow? What's your range? All right. Uh. Yeah, you can keep there, no problem. I can hit him, but I'll take an opportunity to attack. Yeah, you won't be able to hit him once he gets his corner. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna... I'd say it's probably better to hit him anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna take the opportunity to attack. Cool. Um, do you believe in hitting people? Nope. Well, this is on that monkey. Take the heart of the cart! Uh, is the smell still protruding? Yep, it sure is. Disadvantage. Oh, still hits. Oh, nice. With a six. Cool. Uh, uh can, can I use an RP die on the attack roll? No. Uh, I'll, I'll give you on damage here. Well, yeah, first damage, roll damage. normally, then see if you want to use the He already got six, so. Uh, so uh, nine. Uh, yep, he's dead. Damn. Air to the Stop. back of the head. As you dodge uh, the guy's attack. Uh, Nicely done. Dyke, females. Uh, one, two, three. These guys are uh, getting out of there. Cowering. Yeah. Uh, these guys get to the corners and they cower. Uh, Ragnar. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, before Ragnar, uh, two will attack. One's gonna attack with a fire, and the other's gonna attack Ragnar. Uh, with a fire and Ragnar. Cool. Uh, so Ragnar. Uh, shield bash the guy right beside me. Sweet. Let me roll. Oh, you mean the, the girl beside you? Female. Uh, the person behind, beside him. Okay. 
Just, I would like you to know that you are killing one of the next children. Yes, but they are attacking me first, so... W will you step on the children when you find them? No, no, I won't. Classic Ragnar. <laughs> Do I mean Team Sapphire? Yeah. Yeah, That's it. what? And the other That's one. how you look for some placenta. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. <laughs> okay, so both hit. Yeah. These guys have low IC anyway. Yeah, they have numbers. Okay, yeah. 10 damage. True. 10 damage, nice. Uh, yeah, you cut her in half. Nice. With a <laughs> fucking shield. <laughs> Holy shoot. shit. Yeah. That right there is also. Which, what you do is you basically you, pu you punch her forward, she leans back, and she ends up knocked down, and uh, you decapitate it with, one of your, with your big shield. Awesome. Uh, Ruben. You see, you see about three just start running away that direction. Um. And uh, you can actually see the outline of not only them, but several down here. Oh, through walls? Yeah, you can see them through walls. Uh, oh, I don't have any spells, so I'll just come here and hit this guy. Cool, you may roll. Uh, no, you have disadvantage. Do I have disadvantage? Uh, because of a stink. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Fun. Nine points of damage, people. I think this guy is... Yeah, you uh, replace his head with your hammer. Uh, the cameras. What's this shit, Uh, Ray of Frost, that bitch. Which one? Uh, the one right there. Cool. Whoa. Plus four. That's a hit. <laughs> yeah. Slowed by ten, though, so Roger. I got that going for me. Uh, Trogodite Males. Sweet. Um, yeah. This one attack. Focus to here. And actually, uh, they're dead. Um, so it's gonna take the attacks on Ragnar. Uh, so one attack, two attack, three attack, four. Uh, your AC is 21 now. I think that's a yes. Dedra. Uh, hello. Yep, I hear you. Okay, then. Um, I'm going to. Uh, John, I really like this combat music. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what else is in the room in here? This, this is typically my uh, my goblin music. Uh, when you look in the room, you can see there's some furs on the ground, uh, some fire. Uh, you see some like a carcass in the back. Uh, you you definitely think this is like a home quarters kind of situation. Okay, I'm gonna. Use my movement and move one, two, three, four. Can I squeeze through here and call it a five? Um, where? Uh, um, right here. Th these guys are scared, so it doesn't matter. You can move through them. Okay. And five, and then six, and start heading back. Cool. To the so you head to these guys, and what do you do? You just, hey, what's oh, up? Just knock them out. Yeah, deck them. I'm not sure what your purpose to be there, Dedrick, is. Uh, oh, wait. As I'm running by, do I actually, like, get into contact with him? Or... Uh, a little bit, if you want. Yeah, you can hit him with your okay. armor. Can I trip him? Sure. Give okay. me attack. Uh, by the way, once again, her. You're tripping her. Oh, her. Yeah. Uh, you match the tripper. She falls to the ground. Awesome. You trip a woman. Well done. <laughs> Nice Norian, story. you're up. You gotta do what That's you gotta cool. do. Um, so I move over here. Cool. And I'm gonna. Can I attack one of it with the one sword? What's it, boy? Can I use one sword to attack uh, both of them? Okay, sure. Okay, uh, scimitar is gonna be the left and the lungs for the right. Sure. Um, uh, you can notice they're not producing the stink anymore. You assume it's something they consciously do, and uh, being scared and running away, they're not doing it. Awesome. Guys, we're like America. Ah, crap. Well, that's pretty low. Do you want to roll RP die or? Uh, not really, no. 
Okay, well then, uh, nothing happens. Um, they're just gonna rush right through you then. Uh, this one's good. Yeah, um, we fire you up. Alright, so... Everybody, there's still monkeys in this room, right? Uh, yeah, there's three, there are four attacking, um, your friend. Um, Ragnar. And one attacking you. Try and but kill if I one of these people, I here. take a, uh, opportunity attack? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna kill this one then. Cool, cool. Uh, is the smell still protruding from this room? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. From all of these guys. Um, oh, wow, that's five a lot of damage. 20s. Okay, uh, so you're doing... <coughs> yeah, I got five damage, nice. And then this one, in eight. Beautiful man, you're all high. Okay, uh, you do five to that, and eight takes this guy down. Alright, I can move after my attack, or...? Yeah. You, you can attack, move, attack, move if you want. Okay. I'm coming right here. I don't think I'm feeling up Ethan. Okay, we're doing trying to scare the monkeys. Cool. It's like boo boo. They all shit themselves, you have this cool. advantage now. Uh Church Troglodyte males or females? Yeah, these are females. Um so the females aren't going to uh how long does fear last anyway? Mm, uh, I think Fearless like a minute, that's six turns. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been six turns yet, I would yeah. like to cancel that, please. Uh, see, they're gonna, they're gonna, they see you and they basically, they're gonna continue doing what they do, which is that, disengage. That's actually ten turns, not six. Is it? Oh, cool. Um, each, yeah, each turns, yeah, it would be ten turns. Uh, they disengage and run past. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're like America, we came into their home to take their mithril. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> I, I assume you're gonna rob them blind with everything they have. <laughs> Hell yeah, what the fuck? Uh, Ragnar, you're up. They're the ones who started this. We came yeah. Are you sure? I think you guys came in into their home. Yeah, but we and told as they, them we'd get... As no. you tried to put, they tried to push you out, you pushed your way in. No, yeah, they but... walked us in. They and that's, like that's when you, did, when you did it the second time, they were like, we're not taking this bullshit. No, Bro. they did it all happily. We promised them democracy and then painted them as terrorists, and now we're killing them. Ah, uh, that's a miss there, uh, Ragnar. Uh, Ruben. Actually, no, yeah, go, go, roll me a constitution saving throw because poison and you're. You can withstand poison being a dwarf. Who? Uh, Ragnar. Ragnar? Alright. Just a quick uh, constitution saving throw, there, Ragnar. I don't think he's there. Uh, I'll, I'll roll one for him. Oh, he rolled it. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, you're fine. Uh, that second attack hits. Ah, uh, roll damage. It's point. Cool, cool. Uh, you slice this guy good. The guy in the center. Yeah, there's something good with that shield. Be slicing. Ah, uh, the Camros. I still haven't done anything. I'm sorry, Ruben. Oh shit. He's got the like. I <laughs> Um, get one of these guys. Oh, wrong way, Ruben. <laughs> yeah, well, they're gonna tell the boys. <laughs> fuck it, I'll hit the girls. I don't give a fuck. Cool, uh, we do that, Ruben. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I, I try to hit the girl. Okay. That's a hit. Clock in the back of the head. Damage. Ah, uh, yep, you, uh, you hit her in the back of the head, she hits the ground. <laughs> You killed a woman, you monster! Yep, you're all monsters. Uh, the camera's here up. Nah, it's sexy if you don't kill them because they're a woman. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> uh, 23 is a hit. What are you doing? Okay, cool. Uh, yep, you, uh, you f What's that? Yeah. I wanted to say, yeah, exactly. I knew it was that one. Okay. Uh, troglodyte males or females? Males. Males, you Cool. Uh, they're going to try to attack Ragnar again. One, two, three. Oof. Not doing males, good, though. The males do not care about their females, do they? Well, they're, they have to defend themselves first. Oh, uh, you see? What type of chivalry is that? <laughs> they're more sexist than us. At least we're killing indiscriminately. <laughs> You're all awful people. This is, <laughs> this is classic Heroes Guild stuff. <laughs> Yeah, you guys gonna have to call. You guys would do much better in Rake's Marsh. Tell you that much. You could do this oh, stuff and no one would care. Um. So yeah. <laughs> yeah we uh, Cedric, you're up. Right? Cedric, you're up. 
Uh, let's see. One, two. Three, yo. We should fucking skip them. Alright. Uh, Dedrick, you don't know that the treasure exists down here. <laughs> I know you want to go down here, but it doesn't make sense for you to want to go down there. Oh, it does. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. So he's abandoning the group, he's evil, he wants us to die by ourselves, we kill him as soon as he comes back? I'm in for that. Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good. Just wanted to make so, sure. yeah. Let's put that on the table again, instead of the hero's heal, we're the super villains. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can move twice, Dedrick, so I can move you there. Okay. Yeah, then um, I'm gonna move here and kill this whatever it is. Sounds great. You're gonna murder Sick. one. Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Is that a crit? That's two crits. It, it's oh. not really a crit. Oh, whatever, it's oh. a crit. Oh, whatever, it's a crit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's dead anyway, but. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, so you, um, decapitator. Blah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Okay, uh, yeah, so there's a little action going down here. Uh, Uda Fire, what's up? Um, all of them are dead from trying to run, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm going to take a shot at this one down the hole. Cool. Uh, just whizzing right over Ragnar's shoulder is an attack that kills this guy right in the center. Oh god, I've used two more arrows. Yeah. You only have two more arrows left? No, I said I used two more in this fight. Oh. I'm down to 13. Uh, Troglodyte. You gotta pick him up. Yeah, I, uh, I have a whole Quiver, I think, and I barely ever used him, so... Oh, do you really? Yeah, I have like 19 arrows. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Ragnar, this guy misses you, but she tries to keep going. Uh, attack of opportunity? You already, I think you rolled it right now with a 20. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it instant beheadle. She has no health anyway. <laughs> John, yeah, can you, you explain it to me in graphic detail how he beheads yeah. him with the shield? Uh, once again, the, the, the shield has kind of a, a sharp, or a, it's actually a pretty blunt end. But he puts so much force into it, he knocks her against the wall and just separates her head from the, her body. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, Ragnar, you're up. <sighs> wow. Uh, Ragnar, you're up. Give me attack. I hope oh, double nineteens. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> uh, give me some damage. <laughs> it sounded like that. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. I'm not gonna lie. Give me your action. <sighs> yeah, this this guy right here goes down instantly. I uh, basically you just you just smash him in between your shields. Oh God. Jesus, somebody has to make gifts of this type of shit. I'm sure they're out there. Uh, Ruben, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I go down one, two, four, five, six. Um, uh, nah, I got, I got nothing. So, uh, just stay there. No, really. actually, one, two, three, four, five. I, I take another move. Cool. Okay. Uh, the cameras, you're up. You can't be on top of your friend. Three, four, five, <laughs> six. Wait, no. Oh, Perfect. Yeah? You were you were here oh. before. You can't yep, be on top of fuck him. his ass up. Oh. Give me a attack. Boom. He hits. What the fuck? Yes, yeah, roll damage. Eight. They were nice. Do a good amount of damage to him. Uh, these troglodytes. Um, Vayer. What's up? I kind of surprised I don't get a plus to that. Um, to damage? Yeah. Uh, it's because you don't have to worry about certain things like ammunition and junk like that. Plus, it, mm -hmm. it comes with a stat, a status. Arrows don't. Uh, arrows do one d eight, and they don't come with a status. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, yeah, and remember, you remember there are new abilities which you should look up and use, like the ones that do I AOE. Can? Yes. You should definitely oh. replace your your bolt with a different one. Um, because oh, I, an ice ray doesn't really make sense for your character. But like a but like a fire blast would. So um, you tell me I could use the new spells. Ah, uh, yeah, use the new spells definitely. All right. Uh, scorching burst, ex uh, especially. It's yeah, exactly. Really I was reading one. that one the other day. Um. So yeah, this one's going to att invoke attack opportunities from all three of you, as well as uh, both of these are as they try to pass through. Uh, which one do you want to take attack opportunities from? The first or the second? Me. Um. Ragnar and Ruben. Oh. Uh. 
I don't know, first? Sure. Give me a roll. I did. I missed. Okay. Uh, you miss. Can and, I get an uh, opportunity attack? Yeah, you, you can too. Do you have a weapon on you? Yeah, my fist. Okay, sure. Uh, <laughs> Ragnar, do you do damage on the first guy? Nice. Oh uh, yeah, you managed to actually slice him. Uh, you, you managed to, to knock him right in the face and he goes down. Alright, so I'm gonna deck the second one. Cool, give me oh, a roll. Wait. That's a hit. Uh, <laughs> what I roll? You get strength. One plus one damage plus your strength. So I do two damage to him. I deck him in the mouth. Yeah, you, you deck him in the face. Uh, roll me 1d20. Uh... Okay, you passed just barely. Um, so this guy actually, when you punch him, he kind of trips over his friend, and uh, he kind of lands over the with the fire, giving him an attack of opportunity. <laughs> All right, so I put my foot <laughs> on his chest, stabbing his sword, just clipping his head off with one swing. You do so. Oh man, all these spells are so much better. Uh, Dedrick. Uh, uh, you you come up to here, you find in a big pile of snow, um, or on top of a big pile of snow, is a uh, a bundle. It appears to be ornate and very nice looking, and there are many items on there, including huh. a uh, a harness, uh, most likely stolen from an adventurer. Um, you can clearly see it has four small slots, one medium, and two large slots. Um, in addition, you see that there is a bag of some sort of spice, a large scythe, and a, a 900, about 900 copper pieces, give or take, and okay. a uh, and a shield that appears to be made out of a very black wood. Black wood? Yeah. The same kind of wood that uh, Vic had. Looks very familiar. Okay. Hmm. Um, I never showed you the wood. You fucking. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Well, we we consider that you got once again. If if it is said aloud, we assume that you all team up and, oh, okay. and learn. at least at least after the battles are done. Um, I'm going to just stay here and then get back to the items until the uh, the fight is over. You're just gonna hang out here. Yep. Done. Uh, Norian. Okay. Now, uh, what do we have left? Uh, I have one guy left. You couldn't possibly reach him. Let's hit a bow. I do have a bow. Okay, well, you'd have to get into right here. Oh, here. In order to shoot at him. Do you think you can get okay. there in time? Mm, I can teleport. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, who to fire them? Alright. Uh, where, he is, where is he? Yeah, hello? It's right yeah, here. Yeah, I'm lagging. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Wow. Um. I do not feel like walking all the way back over there. I don't even think I'll be able to get to him to kill him. So, this John, can I uh, change my cantrips? Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you only have to get here. Right. Okay, cool, thanks. So, no, no problem. Would I be able to hit him from here? Sure. Alright, let's do it. Uh, yeah, uh, two arrows. Oh, this is, you have to, is that disadvantage or are you? No. Uh, no, you, you use your weapons, yo. Which weapons? Use your use sword. Short sword. Doesn't yeah. really matter. Uh, eight was eight's a lot of damage anyway, and you still rolled a nineteen or a thirteen plus six. Uh, so yeah, it goes into his face, and he goes down. Okay. So I'd like to collect all my. How many bowls do I get back that aren't shattered from firing? What's that? How many? I just want to walk around the corpses and like look. F how many of my bowls are saved and anything else they have on them? Um. Yeah. Sure. Uh, give, give yeah. Me, arrows, sorry. Give me search check for um for finding uh, items on them and retrieving your arrows. Uh, you get as many arrows back as you uh you hit, but any any arrow that missed would have hit the wall and shattered. Uh, I don't think I missed an arrow this one. Okay. Well, then you're fine. And uh. Search is wisdom. Uh, search is uh, intelligence. 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 Damn it. Uh, you start searching up and down. Uh, you don't think they have any possessions on them, besides their great clubs. Yeah. No. Sh yeah. Hey, it was worth checking. Yeah, you're you're quickly um, kind of like brought it back and and saddened. All right, so uh, I'm gonna got this last one while everybody does everything else. Cool. Damn, I like Eldritch Blast. Oh, blast Eld so Eldritch Blast. Yeah, that's nice. 
But Scorching Burst is also pretty good. Wow, did we just, like, kill all the Neanderthals? Um, you, you, uh, the girl on Nori, uh, Sylvia, just kind of nods. <laughs> like, yeah, so this, we did. So this is the price of uh, Mithril, eh? A little bit. I, I said, oh, yeah, we're looking for mind. Mithril. Hmm. I look it's at her and say, I hope you can sleep with this on your mind, right? Yeah, she she, she kind of shudders. Eh, so, be fine. what's on the table again? Um, on the table, you see a large collection of uh, silver of copper coins, um, somewhere between you know, like nine hundred and a thousand. Um, in addition, you see a, sh a shield made of black wood. Um, a another harness appear. Uh, it looks like it has four small slots, one medium, and two large. Um, in addition to a bag of some sort of spice and a scythe. Yo, this is all stolen. Perhaps, maybe traded. Yeah. Can we add the harness to whatever we have? Yeah, well, we, uh, one of you can um, can wear the harness instead of your current harness. Um, Shit, I'll strap it on. Cool. Okay. Uh, the new harness has four small, one medium, and two large spaces. Um, uh, do you sh uh, I think that'd be best for the shield wielder. Yeah, I'm okay with it, Ragnar. Yeah, I don't mind either. Uh, assuming Vig's okay. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, R Ragnar definitely wants to do it. John, at this level, I'm supposed to have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six cantrips, right? That sounds just about right. Um, at you, you, you can choose to gain a two new spells or high level spells or two cantrips. So, um, you would have, I guess, four can you have four cantrips plus whatever cantrips you choose, or if you whichever ones you choose in your spell list. Um, if that makes sense. Like, you, could, like, you could take a little two spell, or you could take another cantrip. It's that kind of question. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so shit, right now I'd have six because of like sage background, all this stupid shit. Sage background nah. shouldn't get you. No. Or it's something, something in there. I think it's taken... Uh, it sounds like you have four, and you're trying to weaselly way into more. No, I'm looking at it right now, and I have six. That's why I'm asking oh. you. Okay, well, uh, how many spells do you have total, including cantrips? Count. Let's see. Including alarm, which I'm yet to learn. I know you 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 know that one, but that one doesn't count. Uh, spells, spells, spells. Hey, uh, John. What was the um, space uh, harness gave him? Um, four small, uh, one medium, two large. Hmm. You're saying how many spells are you pair on a daily basis, or how uh, many no. spells? Are how many how many spells do you know right now? Like One, no, like no, no, One, no, no. Four, four, five, four, six, yeah. seven. So ten. There's dark offer, a shield, a scythe, and then the harness. Okay. I know ten right now. Cool. Uh, you can know eleven, and that's not including alarm. Uh, okay. so basically, just just choose whichever eleven spells you want. All right. Cool. Yeah. And that includes cantrips and things of that, like things of that nature. Um, okay, um, so yeah, what do you guys want to do? Who is um, going to be wielding the scythe? Oh, there's a scythe? There's yeah. a large scythe, yeah. yeah. What's oh, the damage on the scythe? Um, it appears to be about 1d12. I want the scythe. Uh, and he's of course two-handed, right? Uh, it's a two-hand weapon, yeah. I'll take. No, I'm kidding. Well, I can't do that. Okay, so I presume I'll be the group's pack mule, so... Um, it can be either you or the, the goblins. Wait, would it count as a focus, the scythe, or no? No. <laughs> You're <laughs> fucking Gosh, sick. No. Well, you Come on, that. that'd be so sick. That'd be cool. You have to it it only your counts holy... if you wear a black robe. You, you also have to have uh, etch your holy symbol onto the blade. Then, maybe. Uh, we could work something out. Mm. You done? Fire. <laughs> What's up? You could could I break the top scythe, just like the top half, to make it a one-handed weapon? What the fuck? No, no don't um, like that. Sickle? No, it would, uh, no. it would be it would be too no. large. A sickle. Like a sickle it is not a scythe-like uh, shape. Sickle is semicircular. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's way too large. Okay. What's like what's the, all what's my the blade? Like the pure steel or? What's that? 
What's the blade made out of? Ah, uh, yeah, plates made plates made of iron. Okay, all right. Um, I I point up and show them the uh, the mithril above our heads. Now, uh, once again, uh, you see a shield. Apparently, uh, it's made of a black wood. Uh, you also see the harness, uh, a bag of some sort of spice, the scythe, and about you know a lot of copper. What's spice? So uh, you you said the black wood was the same vase was yeah had as him? exactly. Uh, did it have any particular properties? Uh, well, it appears to be a buckler for one thing. Um, I, I, I'm interested. Yeah. Um, besides that, you you don't really know. You'd have to wear it and, and see the difference. Okay. Um, Can you wear a buckler? I actually have one right now. Um, Pizza? Uh, hey, Vic. What's up? Can you take a look if it, if it has something weird, this one? Um, fuck it. um actually, uh, Ragnar uh, who, uh, is actually quite, um, he knows a lot about weaponry and things like that, so he'd probably be better at that. Uh, Ragnar, give me a history check. And, um, the bard, give me a bard knowledge check. Fuck. Damn, what uh, is it that gives Ragnar represent knows it, but he just can't put his t he remembers it, but he just can't put his tongue on it. Yo, can I put my tongue on it? <laughs> as long as it's, it's my penis. Dirty. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Bart Null check there, uh, but, uh, whatever your name is. I'm tired, Dedrick. <laughs> I think this is what it is. Yeah, that's what it is, John. From uh, my feet, I get two more cantrips and one level one spell from uh, my list. Awesome. Yep. Uh, was that was that for? Uh, the arcane initiate. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, so yeah, you would have thirteen then. Yeah, yeah. So I got it right. <laughs> you have fourteen total. Um. So yeah. Uh, is 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 he not here? Curse you, Dedrick. Wait, oh. come here. Oh, then roll bar a bar and I'll check to figure out what the shield is on the ground. Oh, okay. Everyone's like, hey, what is it? Dedrick, what is it? What do you think it is, Dedrick? You're a bar, you've heard uh, things. Yeah, I know. No, okay, uh, easily, uh, Dedrick can recognize this as a shatter shield. Um, they're, they're, it's very, um, it's kind of, it's a strong shield, however, um, it's light, made of uh, dark wood, which is much lighter than regular weapons or regular items. Um, and uh, it basically makes it so uh, you won't have disadvantage while wielding it with, uh, while wielding it. Okay, it's stronger, but, or it's stronger it's, and uh, lighter, it, but... It's, it's uh, lighter, so you won't have disadvantage. However, it's been known to break a lot. So uh, okay. so keep either more, more shadow shields or a regular buckler on hand. Okay, uh, I'll do it like this. Um... Who had the uh, harness, Ragnar? Yeah. Yep. Okay, can you hold my old buckler and I'm gonna use this one in the meantime? Yep, sure. Uh, old buckler would be a medium item, correct? Yep. Oh, John, when are we gonna remake these tunes? Um, or, next like, level. Characters? Next level? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, we'll we'll do it. We'll before we make this level. Um, yeah, I'd say you guys just, uh... You just cleared out the area. Two so, fucking caves. I said uh, I'll use the, the mm -hmm. old buckler if you don't want it. You could see uh, the little girl kind of just kind of uh, just kind of shaking a little bit. Um, she kind of says, "It's we, we better get back, you know, uh, after we get the mithril." All right, sounds fun. Is this okay. as much mithril um, as you anticipated? Uh, she kind of shrugs. So uh, we start mining it. Yeah. Uh, eventually, again, another backpack. You uh, you you throw it onto the girl, I suppose, or unless one of you has um. In the backpack. Wait, who takes what? Who takes the scythe and the shield? Oh, yeah, uh, it's a good game, gentlemen. Norian took the shield and he gave me his old.